I survived a total of 200 days in hardcore Dawncraft, so I decided to compile both of my videos into one and make a full movie out of it. Dawncraft is a huge new mod pack that turns Minecraft into an RPG. There's a whole new combat system, quest line, and 43 new bosses to defeat. I have to collect the 12 eyes that are scattered throughout different bosses and structures to reach the end and defeat the Ender Dragon. I have not had this much fun playing a mod pack in a long time. So, without further ado, everybody. Buddy. Grab your favorite snacks, relax, and enjoy as I try to survive 100 days in hardcore Dawncraft. Alright, here we are. So starting out, we already got a few items. We have a village map, which points us to the nearest village, a compass, an empty antique atlas, and bread with a leather tunic. The atlas is just like a map, and it lets me mark down things and see what's nearby, so that's really useful. And look at this third-person perspective. It, it is a lot different than regular Minecraft, and it is very, very cool. We also have stamina, so I can't just run infinitely. Oh, and that is a dangerous animal. Now here, we got a little guy called Cole. Korok, and he's here to just introduce us to the world. We are summoned to defeat the Ender Dragon, fabled beasts like giants, werewolves, and even other dragons. Obtain at least 12 mystic eyes and use them to locate and open the gateway into the end. Yeah, in this mod pack, you have to get special eyes of Ender, which are quite difficult to get. Treat the villagers well, because uh, if they see you steal stuff from them, they will actually get mad and you'll lose reputation with them. Anyways, let's say all right to that. And oh, we got an airship over there. Oh, and we got some kingdom towers over there. Oh, and we got a, okay, we got a tiger. I'm not going that way. Sourceberry, that's a lot of sourceberries. I don't know what, wait, can I, what, what, what happens if I eat that? Mana regeneration, interesting. And getting wood in this pack is a bit different. It's like a lumberjack effect. There we go. And I am sorry, little guy, but, oh. Let's fight him in combat mode to do more damage. Yeah, another thing to mention is that there's a combat mode where you deal 100% of your damage, but you have to attack like this. If you're in normal fight mode where you're not in that stance, you, you deal 50% of normal damage. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff going on around here. Holy moly. Look at that. We have so many things just all in one area. Oh, and oh, okay. What? Ah! What is that? <laughs> is it following me? I swear. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a troll. Oh no. We got a ruined portal here, which maybe we can find some some good stuff actually. Let's check it out. Ooh, golden knife, windswept golden chest plate. So items also have additional perks on them, which is really nice. Like this one gives me additional speed. Ooh, we got a spell, which will be useful. Guardian gem. Yeah, you can also socket gems into items. Just look at this. This is insane. Let's put these on. I'd say that was a pretty good little loot rummage there. And what is over here? Barrels? Moss blocks. Whoa. What do we have inside this? Because this is not... This is different than that, I think. Okay. Nope. No, illusioners are not some people that I'm able to fight yet. Carrots? That's good. Sugar cane. I'm just stealing all their farm supplies while I can. Are there any items I can snag? Like, look, there's a couple of chests there. Maybe I can try to, you know, sneak up on. Okay. Oop, and there's a sack, which is good. Soul bead. Oop, can't have them see me. Excuse me, guys. I'm just trying to steal some of your loot. That's all. Oop, there we go. Ooh, emeralds. And that's a Okay. This is when we leave. <laughs> I continued on my way to find a village. I ran into some sheep along the way, which was good because that way I was able to make a bed and sleep off the first night. Upon waking up to the next morning, I got attacked by some creature, uh, but soon my map started showing progress. Oh, oh, the map's moving. What is this? We have like a tower, a castle, I don't know. Hold on. Cake? There, there has to be some mobs here. Oh, furnace. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, chainmail boots? Okay, destructive wooden pickaxe. It's a special wooden pickaxe. Hey, it's better than what I have right now, so I'll take it. A rare item. Ooh, iron shovel with mending. <laughs> An uncommon one. There's a regeneration potion, that'll be useful. And a bunch of building blocks. Woo. Now I think if I go down, it's just gonna be dangerous. I don't see it being like a safe thing. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I get greedy sometimes. Okay, are there any free chests that I can pick up? No, but you know what we can do is mark this down on our map. Here we can put dungeon. Boom, we can return here later. Now let's go find that village. Ooh, Sentinel Knight. Okay, that's a boss we'll have to fight later, but I will mark down that there's a boss here somewhere. Here we go, here we go. 
We're going in the direction of the village, finally. Ah, here we go. Woo, we made it. Oh, man. Yellowstone. Hello. Seems you found a village. Yes. Okay. Ooh, and here we have the guild master. This is a very important guy. Seems like it's your first time visiting the guild. Would you like to take on your first quest? Yes. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to find the eyes in your current conditions. Come back to me once you've defeated 10 pillagers. Okay. Let's look around the village here, and maybe we can snag a bit of loot. Ooh, this looks cool, by the way. Villagers don't take lightly to you taking their stuff, so I can only take their stuff if they're not looking. Like, nobody's looking at me while I'm looking at these barrels, right? Ooh, food. What happens if I break this? Do I get the food? Ooh, yes, I do. Hello. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> They'll just be going upstairs, you know? Ooh, books. Oh. Nobody's, nobody's looking? I don't know. They're not looking technically, right? So let me just grab some books. You guys see nothing, right? Okay, there's a chest here, but as, as, as long as these guys are here, I can't really loot these. You know what? I'll, 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 maybe I'll come back later. Ooh, there's a chest. Hold on. They, they see nothing, guys. Okay, they saw nothing. Let me leave. Oh, I just stripped their wood back, so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Oh, that doesn't look friendly. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. And the night is here, so we will sleep off the second night. Rise and shine. To the third day. Ow. Ooh, what's going on here? Ooh, ooh. What is going on here? Do I see free loot? Thank you. Nobody sees me, right? I mean, come on. That's nice. Wait, wait are these? These are diamonds. Hold on. Nobody sees me, right? Okay, diamonds. Thank you. Thank you for the diamonds. Now, what do we have up here? And how do we get up there? Block up. Hello. Oh, that's a bunch of campfire. Oh, that's just a chimney. Is there any loot here? Any secret loot? No. All that for nothing. Down we go. What else do we got in this village? Oh, hello. This guy has a quest for us. Hello, good sir. Could you help me with something? All right. He's an ambitious farmer. He needs pumpkin seeds. Okay. All right, Tegan. We'll work on that. I then ran into another house and found this mining table, which seemed pretty interesting. I think it was just used to recruit villagers. And after that, I tried to talk to a villager called Catherine. The village decided on the last second not to talk to you? What? Wait, what? Wait, what are you talking about? Why are you not talking to me? Wait, do they know that I stole something? Wait, hold on. Let me check the guildmaster. This is not good. Check this. Neutral. Oh, why, did he, why didn't he want to talk to me? You know what? I don't appreciate you talking to me like that. Or not talking to me, rather. Yeah, I did not appreciate that. And you know what? You know what? Later on? Destruction. Destruction. That's all I'm going to say. For now, though, I continued my travels in the village. And I, I met a special friend. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Wait, can I tame this? Wolf? Oh, come on. Best friends. <laughs> Best friends forever. Hello. Wait, look at it. It has its tongue out. So cute. I've never seen something so incredible in my life. Yeah, I have a new pet. I found this statue, which essentially lets you trade in essences, which you can get from defeating powerful mobs for extra hearts or stamina. So I'd have to keep that in mind. And after that, I, uh... I began trying to borrow, borrow loot from a villager. <sighs> Is he keeping an eye on me? Is that what he's doing? Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <clears throat> I'm leaving. Shh. Guys. Guys. That's enough. Nice. We got an iron pickaxe. Wait, is this another one of these? Oh, <gasps> more diamonds? Are you kidding me? What is that? What is that? Okay, that doesn't look friendly. Barrel? <gasps> Ooh, iron sword. There is a lot of loot in villages. Oh my goodness, look at these blocks of coal. Ooh, yes, that's nice. I think that is enough looting the village for now. I feel like this is gonna be the best spot for our kingdom, just because it's at the top of the mountain and it's next to the village. Two chests, there we go, and whew. I decided I would name our new dog Noopy, and I was able to use the wheat from my chest to make a stack of bread. I was set on food. Now, I was ready to continue with my adventures. Now, let's check out what's over there. Uh, jump. Yeah, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not jumping down there. That's not happening. What do we got? Ooh, we got some type of kingdom over there. Oh, and we got angry little guys. Okay, blocked. Take that. I can try to fight this guy in combat mode. Got him. Oh, he's just... Okay. All right. Sorry, fellas. Oh, and there's nothing here. Okay. But what do we got over there? What is that? Is that another village? We got a lot of these goblin fellas. Oh, dodge. Lock. Ow. Okay, I'm running away. I hate fighting enemies in fight mode. I swear. It's the most difficult thing ever. Got him. 
Whoa, that was a cool water animation. <laughs> Let's head over here. I, this is a very interesting looking castle. Ooh, Goblin King. Oh boy, I don't think I'm ready for a boss like that. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mark this down. There we go. Now what do we have over here? Ooh, I, I think this is a friendly guy. Hello. One apple and four tropical fish. Hmm, maybe I can recruit him. Hold on, are there any... I, I doubt there's any tropical fish in here, right? We need like a tropical ocean. Yeah, I don't see any tropical fish. And it looks like here we have another village. That does mean that I can snag a little bit more loot. I started some quests around the village, uh, one of which wanted paper, and the other wanted me to hunt down a shark, which <laughs> I wasn't going to do yet, but I did uh, gather some more loot around the village. I was also given a quest to locate and retrieve a child that had been kidnapped by pillagers, so we would get to doing that later. And after all of that village lurking was done, I got back to adventuring. I ended up finding a ship, which I swam towards, but it was filled with way too many pillagers, so I absolutely turned the other way and uh, then found a cave, which I headed into. I found some zinc ore, which seemed to be used for engineering type stuff, but I wasn't ready for that yet. And I also got coal, which I would definitely need. As I progressed further into the cave, though, I was met with some tough zombies. Zombies. Hello. Uh, we got we got some geared up zombies. Why can't they just be normal zombies? Okay. So two attacks on block. Okay. Oh, he attacks twice. Okay. Hold on. We gotta be careful. Fighting off these zombies is a lot harder than I would have liked it to be. Ooh. I'm invisible to them. Defenders vanish. Oh, this enchantment makes it so that I I can be invisible when taking damage for a bit. Oh, that's really nice actually. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna leave. I don't think this cave is the place for me right now. So, let's continue adventuring instead. Soon after, I found this tower. The top of it didn't have anything, but as I headed down the stairs, I found a dungeon. I made my way through its halls, looting some chests and clearing out some spawners. I was having a pretty good time down here, actually, uh, gearing up with some rare loot and lots of ores. I continued looting and progressing through the dungeon. I finally ran into a mob here, which was a skeleton archer, and by alternating between blocking and attacking, I was able to successfully take it out. I found a very interesting stone sword that had bonus fire damage on it and was actually better than my iron sword, so I equipped it. I also found a rare chest plate, which gives you the resistance effect when attacked, and it had some other nice traits on it. I then progressed to the next floor, and that is when things started getting more dangerous. Ah, uh, what is that thing? Let me shoot this thing down. These guys are no good. Oh no. Oh, look at my arrow did no damage to it. And oh, whoa, disappeared. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's hiding. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Okay, I got it. I think I'm good. I continued making my way through the dungeon, but it only got more challenging. The loot also got better though, and I was getting a lot of upgrades for my gear. I was definitely living life on the edge by being down here, but I was mostly fine until this happened. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did you see how many silverfish there are there? How is this possible? Trap them down there. Okay, okay, that's not supposed to happen. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This is insane. This is insane. Ah! Get away! Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Yeah, that was definitely quite the experience. After moving far from the silverfish, I was able to get them to despawn and continued adventuring through the dungeon. I shortly after found a boss down here with the name Claudius Bloodglare. And while I thought that this guy would be easy to deal with, he ended up being a whole lot harder to defeat than I thought he would be. But after pecking at him for a few minutes and taking tons of damage, I was able to finally take him down. Right after that, another boss spawned named Pilgrim the Shark. 
sharpshooter who I was able to take down with much more ease. And when I finally entered the room they were in, I found a piercing four, quick charge three, power five crossbow. And on top of that, a netherite chest plate. I was swimming in loot and that crossbow is especially important. I was able to make it to the final layer of the dungeon, which had a nether theme to it. And the loot here was really, really good, especially this efficiency unbreaking three diamond pickaxe I got that can break in a three by two area. Anyways, with all of that looted, I finally headed out and found a village where things went uh, a bit wrong. Hello, Questmaster. Is that just, I'm supposed to, oh no, they saw me open the barrel. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't even get anything. It wasn't even worth it. Oh my goodness. I'm unwelcomed in villages. Oh my goodness. I need to make this bundled emerald. So I need one more emerald and a piece of leather. And if I give that to them, it'll restore my reputation. <gasps> what is going on? No, 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 no. Hold on, I think I might be able to defeat this guy. Oh my goodness. Should be doing a lot of damage to him. Did I just defeat a villager? I just defeated a villager. No, I did not mean to do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Things are going wrong. Okay, I defeated this troll at least. He, he didn't even, oh, he did drop. He dropped an essence. Well, I just I just defeated a villager. The, that might make the guards kind of mad at me. Could I have a single emerald, please? I want to replenish my reputation. Okay, let's sleep this night off. It seems my reputation is bad. And if my reputation drops lower, they might start attacking me. What is this thing? Dude, dude, what is this? What is that, dude? Dude, get away! Villagers, do you not see what I'm doing for you over here? I'm, I'm defeating all these weird dudes. This looks like something that could have some emeralds in it, if you know what I mean. Nothing to lose anyways. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That should mean I should be able to do this and that, boom bundled emeralds and now if i go to the guild master i should just have to put that in there and i think when i sleep my reputation will be restored let me see what the rest of this building has whoa that's cool belladona crystal ball whoa whoa people are doing some weird stuff here altar i don't want to mess with the villager that lives here oh my goodness look at this i have found a literal witch altar <laughs> it's kind of creepy let's head back home hopefully Please. As I was heading back home, I ran into the Sentinel Knight. Now, given that it was a melee boss, I figured I might be able to use my new crossbow to defeat it. And, uh, well, this, this wasn't exactly the smartest idea. We should be good to go into the fight. The Sentinel Knight. Land a shot on him while he's not looking. I can't really do much damage to him. Can I melee hit this guy? Ooh, no. Ow. I need to bait him out so he drops his shield. Oop, he's doing something. Ow. I'm getting a lot of shots on him, but I need to heal. What is he doing? Okay. Go, go, go. Oh! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't think I can melee hit this guy. Oh boy. Okay, blocked. I'm doing no damage to this guy. Oh, he dropped his shield. Spam shots. Come on. Got him. Got, oh, Knight Robber? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Knight Robber Prime. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, there's a second boss. Oh boy. What is he doing? Oh boy. Oh my goodness. This boss is insane. Man, shots. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, I'm good. I don't know what he's doing. Shots. I almost got him. I almost got him. I almost got him. Oh, we got him. With that, we had defeated both Night Robber and the Sentinel Knight. From this, we got the Rogue Eye, which is one of the 12 eyes needed for the end portal. Now let's get back to our village, which I believe should be this way. Ooh, feels good to have our first boss defeated. That's for sure. And this is our village, I believe. I think we have returned. We should now be... Good with villagers, that's awesome. And a home sweet home. I went around the villagers near me to check up on all of the quests that I had available to me. There was a villager named Gigi that wanted one of my spirit orbs. And um, doing this quest later ends up uh, 
It ends up being a mistake. Anyways, I also got a quest to find a villager's book in some kind of a temple, which I also end up doing later. And finally, I handed in a quest that required five spider eyes, and with that, I got a trading contract for the Cleric Guild. I had to place down a lectern and right-click it with the contract to sign it, and now I could trade with clerics in the village. Yeah, something I should mention is that until I complete all the villager quests, I can't trade with any of them. I wanted to get back on track with adventuring and completing the quests I got so that I could get closer to entering into the end. So I crafted a diamond helmet for myself and the first quest I wanted to complete was retrieving the lost child from the pillagers because this would also give me a chance to complete my quest of defeating 10 pillagers. Whoa, are these guys uh, aggressive? Are they fighting each other? No, he wants to fight me. Oh my goodness. Hold on, these guys are scary. Take that. What were they guarding? Is there anything in here? No. Okay, back to the guard's map. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, is the kid there? I definitely need arrows. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, 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 no. I'm not ready. Hold on. Oh, one of the guys dropped his scythe. Hold on. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a lot of damage. No, nope, there's no way I'm saving this kid. This kid's done for. I'm sorry. No way. Not yet. I need I need to gear up some more. Then I was continuing adventuring, minding my own business, when this happened. Oh! Oh my goodness. I just got attacked by a hippogriff. Wow, it is diving for me. Look at that thing. Okay, okay, I need to go back, eat, come here, come here, come here, wow, it has a lot of health, okay, I can take it out from here, I got it, oh my goodness, wow, griffin feather, it's a, it looks like a legendary level item. I had defeated a griffin that randomly attacked me. I don't know what its problem was, but it did lead me to a castle, which had a diamond pickaxe inside of it and another gem, which I was getting a lot of, but uh, we can only use gems later on. Anyways, I explored more of this castle and found a bedroom inside, which looked very cozy and had some good loot, including a fire aspect one book. There was also an armory here, which had some decent gear and I snapped it all up. I then ended up running into this little ruin thing and it had some barrels with a bunch of feathers and emeralds both of which were good loot for me i gathered up some flint after that and made myself a bunch of arrows and with that i was kind of confident in approaching the kidnappers here we are so these guys oh my goodness that it looks scary oh my goodness okay into the water i go wow there are a lot of them i hope they don't have a spawner that's three. Hello. Got him. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Where are they coming from? Oh! They can come down ladders? This is an insane amount of these guys. Oh, boy. Run. Got him. Piercing lets me get a lot of my arrows back. Composter. Oh, here's the little guy. Here's the little guy. Okay, we're going to have to save him. We have to save him. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, we got chests. Hello? Hello. Oh. Oh, I just defeated a raid captain. I need milk. <laughs> Iron. Hello. Enchanting table. What is going on in here? Okay, that's not good. That's one down. That's two down. That's three. Some loot here. Let's get this little guy out of here. Hey, buddy. He's following. Follow me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Kid, do not follow me. Got him. I need to take the kid off follow mode, and I need to get this bad omen effect off of me before I do anything else. Okay, I have a bucket, which is perfect. Let's find a cow. Ah, cow. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Wandering Trader. Whoa, you got quite the sword there. Phantom Membrane 64 Diamonds for Eternal Vigilance. We're here, we need to get 
to at least home or that village. Let's create a path for the kid to walk on. Now you can follow me. Let's go. I'm going to have to build a staircase going down. Here we go. Come with me, buddy. Perfect. I'm going to go straight to home. I don't know what this guy's name, so we'll just call him Buddy. Come on, buddy. Right this way. Oh, don't go in there, buddy. Buddy, not in these, buddy. We gotta get Buddy to avoid these bushes. I don't know how Buddy deals with water, so we're gonna build another pathway for him. Okay, there we go. Oh, seems like he's okay with water. Oh boy, Buddy, you're in the wrong spot. Okay, hold on. We're gonna move Buddy over here. We're gonna stay there. Okay, good. Jakura Kark. <laughs> oh, quest completed! Nice! Okay, wait, we completed the quest. Is the kid gonna go back to his his father? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, perfect. We've done it, we've done it, we've done it. Okay, now we just need to find that guard and collect our reward. Oh, you actually did it. To be honest, I wasn't optimistic about the kid's survival. Here, I'll teach you a new skill, Swordmaster. You gain a 30% attack speed bonus. Learn. Woohoo! Nice. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it, yeah! With that, let's return home and restock on food before doing another quest. Aw, Noopy's such a good boy. You know what? Let me just get a, a piece of mutton for you. Boom. There we go. You deserve it, Noopy. With some food now and arrows left over, I would like to try and defeat the Goblin King. Teleport over here and let's approach his castle. Oh, and one of his minions is already here attacking me. Oh my goodness, he just spun me around. Got him. I think this is supposed to be the entrance. Is that the Goblin King? No, that's just a huge... Oh, wow. I'm taking that guy out from this little hole that I have built myself. And let me make my way inside. Take them out. There's so many of these little guys. So far, so good. Oh, that's the Goblin King. Oh boy. He's pretty fast. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. He does damage pretty quick. I'm gonna... Oh! I got him. <laughs> I got his crown. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was, that was kind of close. We got some gems here. Oh man, that's awesome. And I got his crown. Windswept Goblin Crown of the Defender. Here we have the throne. The block of emerald. I'll take that. You know what? Let me put that back for a moment. Ah, yes. Feels good. I checked what loot was around the top of the castle and found this windswept ring of glory, which had a really nice effect that heals you when you defeat enemies, and it also gave me an additional speed boost when I wore it in my offhand. I accidentally found this treasure room as well, which had some blocks of ore and a chest in it. Now that we had defeated the Goblin King, I wanted to return to our quest line, and the next quest that I wanted to go on was finding the librarian's book, which had gotten lost somewhere apparently. While following the map, I I found a horse and I took the chance to tame and gear it up so that I could travel faster. Oh, and you can set it as your personal horse. And now if I go here, I can whistle it over to me, which is perfect. Now it looks like we have another quest here. Two grown wheat from the farm. Sure, I'll, I'll bring you two grown wheat. Where's where's the farm though? Oh, hello. Oh, hello, another quest. Crimson wood stems, I accept. <laughs> oh, and here we have wheat. Hope you don't mind me taking some of this. No problem, my friend. Do you accept this wool? A trading contract to the Shepherd Guild. So this will let me trade with shepherds. Now, let's head to this librarian's ruin. While traveling, I encountered a moose and a polar bear, which I unfortunately had to defeat for its hide as a part of a quest. I then ran into more of these strange guys, which I have no idea what the story is behind them, but uh, I took them out and they dropped a rare variant of the scythe, which I tested out and this thing was absolutely insane. It had some kind of spin attack that lets you hit everything around you and I was doing a crazy amount of damage. Soon after, I found this building which I approached and got the achievement Hunter's Cabin. When I went inside, pillagers started spawning here which I took out and realized that I was completing my 10 pillager quest. I should also mention that this is a very important quest and leads to the rest of the main storyline. So doing this was crucial. I looted the chests here which were actually filled with a decent amount of loot including 
including a slingshot. And then a raid leader spawned, which was not amazing news because that would give me the bad omen effect, but I took him out and I opened the trap door to the second floor, which had a bunch of pillagers. With my ring though, I healed whenever I defeated the pillagers and that let me take them all on. With that, I completed my quest. The loot on the second layer was pretty mediocre, so with everything explored, I headed out. Right next to me was a dungeon tower, which I headed into and definitely needed to get some armor from because my boots had broken and uh, I was not going to survive for long without armor, I'll tell you that much. I managed to find a pair of leggings right away, which I needed, and rare boots pretty soon after that, which was perfect. Everything mostly went as usual, and eventually I made it to the bottom floor where I got a bunch of golden apples, ores, and more good gear that I made sure to take as backup for later. With that loot collected, I left the dungeon and was returning home when this happened. And I just started a raid on accident. That's really bad. I'm pretty sure that affects my reputation quite negatively. Um, defending a raid right now is probably going to be extremely difficult, if I'm honest. Like, I can try, you know? I can try. Let me try, because I feel bad, you know? I'm supposed to be protecting the villagers here. Oh my goodness, not the baby creepers, man. Oh man, I was just looking for milk. Oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? Villagers, I swear I'm trying to protect you here. Oh my goodness. This guy had a flamethrower. Got him. Where's everybody else at? Look at him. He has a massive sword. Oh, my crossbow's about to break. I'm not going to be able to handle this raid, am I? Might just have to accept this loss. I need a waystone and I'm leaving. I don't see a waystone here. Off we go. <laughs> Uh, I feel bad, but you know, that's just how it goes sometimes guys. We got a couple signs here One of which could be a village. Nope. That's definitely not a village And we got them. We got a little bit of loot steak. That's good. A lot of apples, which I will actually take. Oh my goodness Oh, hi. Hello villagers. All right, let's head back home I was finally home, but uh, unfortunately my crossbow was now on the verge of breaking, and to make things worse, I wouldn't be able to use an anvil until I got further in the quest line. The good news was that we had completed our quest of defeating 10 pillagers, so I talked to the guildmaster, and in return, got the ability to roll. This ability is actually really useful, and I was really happy to get it. I spoke to the guildmaster once more to begin my next quest with him, which ended up being defeating the Goblin King. He also described that seven of the unique eyes of Ender can be obtained through looting and crafting, but five of them are held by bosses. Now, I had already defeated the Goblin King, but it didn't register since I hadn't started this quest yet, so I would have to defeat him again. I didn't have my crossbow anymore, but uh, in place of it, I at least had a power two rare bow, which uh, actually turns out to be pretty good. While on the search for another Goblin King, I ran into one of these underground dungeons, which I decided I would enter and try to quickly loot. I made sure to grab extra pieces of gear and on the bottom floor got some highly enchanted pieces of gear. With the dungeon fully looted, I headed back up and while exploring, I found a mini goblin outpost, which didn't seem to have any goblins in it, but it did have some decent loot that I collected. And right next to that was a village, which I hoped to find a waystone in. I went around checking in on what quest the villagers had for me, which uh, there were a lot of actually, and then I teleported home to drop off all of my loot. I continued searching for the goblin king and I found him but I also found someone else. Someone uh, pretty dangerous. Goblin King, yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's showtime. Oh, what is going on here? Whoa, look at that armor. Hold on, what? It was armor, but it's nothing good. Interesting. I think the illusionist boss is here. I only have 23 arrows. Maybe we should go for it. Got him. I don't know if these, oh, I think I've engaged the fight. Let's do this. He's going invisible. Is this him? Yep, he's still here. Where is he? I see his particles. I don't see a health bar, so we're just gonna have to pray that we're doing good damage to him. Where'd he go? I hear him. Oh, here he is. Let's get him. He's not hitting me at all. Where'd he go? Got his hat off? We got him! Woo! Conjurer. Oh, it was the conjurer, not the illusionist. We got him, though. This decreases magic damage by 
Interesting. Well, we got the conjure, folks. And we got throwing cards. Can I use that? I don't know. Look at that. Bouncy ball. <laughs> that was a nice little boss fight. I'll keep his hat. Oh, this is a cool painting, actually. Wow. Oh, cool. Okie dokie. Let's go defeat the Goblin King. Seems that he is somewhere over this way. Oh, here it is. Finally, we found the Goblin King again. Defeating the Goblin King again went mostly as before. Its minions did a lot of damage to me, actually, but I got them down, and then the king started running away from me, which was pretty annoying, but uh, I was able to corner him and take him down. I handed in the quest to the Guildmaster, and he gave me a new quest to defeat a corrupted ogre. He also gave me a map this time, so that would make finding it a lot easier. Let's follow it. What is this? Some creepy old abandoned structure. Oh, there's a villager here. Oh, uh, he saw me loot his chest. I'm sorry, fella. Um, that had some interesting loot. Oh, my map is moving. My map is moving. <laughs> Night Rober again. Let's mark that down in case we ever need it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's a hippogriff. Got it. Nice. I think we are very close, actually. And there's a village here. While I was in the village, I decided I would, uh, you know, borrow some food, but uh, unfortunately, the villagers saw me loot one of their chests. After that, though, adventuring started to go well. And look at that. Holy moly, what's going on here? We have reached the destination on our map, but before we go there, let's quickly see what we can find here. We got a ruined portal here as well. Is there any loot? Oh, Chirs the Quirk is protecting it. Oh, looks like this guy is protecting a chest. Oh, yeah, Chirs the Quirk. Got it. Ooh, what did it drop? Lightning resistance. Let's see if we got anything else. And we got nothing amazing here, it seems. Let's see what's over here. Oh, it's a little little village, I guess. Shipwreck village. And they got a bunch of quests. Oh, I can't. I think they're mad at me. Yeah, I think my reputation is low with them, unfortunately. And we're finally showing on the map. Ow. Oh, I just took a bunch of damage. And this looks like it would be the ogre's habitat. Dig in. Oh, hello. There's guys in there too. All right. Oh, corrupted ogre, the eye holder. Can't break through, can he? All right. And we got him. <laughs> corrupted ogre down. And we got the lost eye. It is told that it was forged by the first blacksmiths of time. We got these fellas here, which I think are supposed to be mean, but they're kind of slow, so we'll just leave them in here. With the ogre defeated and lost eye collected, I headed for home, but along the way, I ran into a few different structures. There's also this little mushroom village here. We've got mushroom guys here. I'm running out of food, but I'd like to quickly take a look at what's here. Nothing here. Oh, boy. Got him. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Hello. Can I tame that type of animal? I don't know. Oh, don't you dare. They stole. Do not steal my food. Guys, do not steal my food. You're going to die. Soon after, I found this fisherman's lodge, which contained quite a lot of barrels and sacks of loot around it. I checked them all out, and there was a lot of fishing supply for sure. I went inside, and I found the interior to be quite beautiful, actually. This fisherman was, uh, he was living quite well. I mean, it kind of made me want to live like a fisherman. Uh, the chests were full of different uh, types of hunting supplies, and having checked out what was here, I decided I would venture onward and finally found a village. I traded in a sack of emeralds and then slept off the night, and now I was friendly with the villagers once more. The next quest that the guildmaster gave me was to defeat the night robber once again. Uh, some bad news was that the village started burning down, so I had to rush over and try to put the fire out before it caused any more damage. I was able to stop it fairly early and patched up the lava that caused it in the first place. As I prepared to take on night robber, a wandering trader approached me, who was was selling an axe called Bone Splitter that had an insane amount of enchantments on it. I mean, it had sharpness 10 and looting 5, which you can't even normally get. I decided I would pay the 45 emeralds and a diamond axe to buy it, and uh, yeah, now I own this thing, which <laughs> it's a crazy weapon. With that, I headed over to Night Robber's castle and uh, got ready to fight him. Let's head in. We should probably put a shield on. And there are goblins here. Hello. Let's see how well this axe works. <laughs> well, it can one-shot the goblins, which is good. 
Oh, okay. I'm taking a lot of damage, though, right off the bat. Okay. Oh, and it's hard to... Oh, yeah. It's very hard to hit these guys. It might turn out that our scythe is better. Yeah. That's, that's easier. Let's do this. And I'm getting shot at, but we can take him out from range. We're doing a lot of damage to him. And we got him. That was, uh, that was surprisingly easy actually okay quest completed i returned to the guild master who gave me my next quest in which i had to defeat a boss called nine tails as my reward from defeating knight rober i i said it correctly this time i think <laughs> uh, i unlocked a lot of things including the anvil which was a big step forward it allowed me to repair my crossbow and make a power three flame one bow and i also found out that i could combine gear that had perks on it with enchanted gear to make some very strong armor with my gear upgraded, I felt confident in hunting down the next boss. And this boss does not end up being what you expect it to be. Okay, let me have Ender Pearls and Golden Apples ready. Oh, here's the house. Here it is. Let's do this. There he is. He's coming for me already. Okay. Oh my goodness. Did he just... Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. Holy smokes. He's redirecting my arrows. Golden Apple. Oh my goodness. He does a lot of damage. Oh no. Golden apple. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Wow, he took out half my health. Oh, we got him. Wow. Um, our bow did a lot of damage. Exotic eye. Well, we defeated Ninetales. That was a very quick fight. Hmm, at this point, I'm not even surprised. Good job. The Ninetales was a notoriously violent spirit. The next eye holder is an undead, an undead with many tricks up its sleeves to be precise. As a reward for defeating Nine Tails, I unlock the ability to use the Enchanting Table and Smithing Table, both of which would allow me to significantly upgrade my gear. Before hunting the next boss, I wanted to make ourselves a base. It was kind of uh, upsetting returning home to empty grass every time. Given the fact that we had defeated the Goblin King, I figured it would be easier to set up in that kingdom and then add a few additional details. Before doing that though, I put Silk Touch on my pick axe that can break a 3 by 2 area, and I used it to mine up a bunch of stones so that I could craft stone bricks. I also really wanted to get efficiency 4 on my shovels so that I would easily be able to clear out areas with it. I would need 30 levels to enchant it though, so I decided to head out to the orc encampment next to me and invade it a little bit. Some of these guys were easy to take out, but uh, there was this orc leader who was really buffed up, and I sat there for a long time trying to defeat him. Eventually, I had to switch to melee attacks and then I finally got him. The chests here were basic with some torches, ores, and gems and I continued on after that to find a ship and I felt like now I could finally match the strength of these guys so I started going after them and you know what, I was hanging in there with the pirates pretty well, but uh, it got a little bit dangerous when the melee guys started coming after me. I ran to get some distance from them and took them out from range, and I then blocked the existing melee guys and farmed them up from here, which was uh, nice. After a bit, I saw this interesting structure in the distance. I walked in and got the achievement, the Bear Claw Inn, which read, a Inn for a Wary Traveler. I made my way in further, and this place was decked out with furniture and a lot of one traders. There were some bartenders here as well that uh, I had some casual conversation with, and I checked the trades of the wandering traders who had uh, maps to mushroom villages and a lot of farm supply stuff. I also found a journal here that was titled The Bear Hunt, and it told the story of how some people tried to trap a bear with honey, uh, but then the bear ate all the honey without getting caught in the trap, so... Yeah, they, they lost on that one. Uh, I explored the second layer of this place, and with that checked out, I headed outside. There was a horse stable next to the inn as well that ended up having some armored pigs inside of it, which I thought was just hilarious. I ended up finding a coliseum, but uh, nothing nothing really happened here. Yeah, I, I looked around, but there, there was just nothing. Anyways, I ran into a battle tower after that, and uh, I didn't want to fight the boss here yet, although we do do that later, and that's, that's quite... 
that's quite the experience yeah i don't want to talk about it uh, but this was a, a great place to farm experience so i just farmed up the mobs for a while and got to level 31 before i decided to leave because uh, my gear started to break pretty badly i ran over to the kingdom where we defeated the goblin king the first time which was actually a really nice location because it was inside a village and on top of that the interior here was really really nice and ready to move into there were some half generated structures on the side of the castle which i spent some time removing and was able to remove them a lot faster by using my three by two pickaxe and uh once i was done with that things felt a lot cleaner with that done i created an opening at the front and placed a waystone down so that i could easily teleport back here now that i had the base move in ready i started working on a little storage and moving in all of my things uh it was not a slow process all right i mean i know there's some people that love organizing but that's not me but uh it had to be done so i worked on sectioning out the items as well and by day 43 i was done after that um i know that i planned on <laughs> enchanting my shovel but my gear was so beaten down again that i had to spend my levels <laughs> on repairing it i cleared out the rest of our first base and then i needed to transport noopy who i transported by boat and uh now he was here in our new home i also named noopy with a name tag but uh it didn't show up for some reason uh, but in our hearts we all know that that this is noopy so with our storage sorted and still <laughs> still no efficiency for a shovel i set up a level 30 enchanting table in this room which literally had the perfect outline for this the first detail that i wanted to add to our new castle was a staircase leading up to the entrance because as of now there was no easy way to walk into the base so i started by clearing out some dirt to create a walkway and i guess at, at this time i just i didn't really care about efficiency for because it wouldn't take that long to dig it out and once i finished the walkway i started working on the staircase which i made too wide and carved into the mountain with a curve going outwards it was really easy to walk down and up which i liked a lot and i added a supporting wall as well I then came to the idea of building a border around the castle because it was very unclear as to what was happening on the outside. This would require me to dig out a lot of grass, so this time I actually set my mind on getting that efficiency for shovel. I needed lapis so that I would be able to enchant it, so that's when I came to the realization that I had to go mining. And mining in this pack is it's, it's, it's very scary. The cave opening that I found just kind of dropped me down this interesting never-ending tunnel which now that i think of it I, I i put a lot of trust in that tunnel uh but there was an array of wild mobs here i mean you you got a glowing squid skeleton a crystal golem and a plethora of skeletons and zombies eventually i found lapis down here which i very quickly got to mining and i got a stack just like that which was nice i then was looking at my inventory when i got set on fire by this pyromancer guy i had never seen him before but I quickly took him out and uh, I ended up finding a mine shaft which I looted a chest in that gave me this takeoff spell book and this thing comes very very in handy later on I finally went back up to the surface and was attacked by this thing which looked freaky but my arrows were able to take it out and with lapis collected I continued my adventures in search of experience oh we got one of these dungeons this could give me a good amount of levels all right let's have a look Here's the next layer already. Can farm up some of these mobs. Thank you for the levels, my friend. Thank you for the levels. Yeah, this definitely works for experience. Here we go, layer down. Oh boy, that's a boss. That's like a boss boss. We are going to avoid any attacks from him. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got him. Ow. Ow. Oh, ow. Yeah, jumped at me out of nowhere. Chains of the golden apple. Oh my goodness. That's a very nice chest plate. Better than mine. It's a good shovel. That might be it for this place. I returned home and using the efficiency three shovel, I combined it with an efficiency book and got the efficiency four shovel I had been working towards. With that done, I got to work. I began working on digging out a border around our castle. Then I filled in the border with stone bricks, which wasn't the same block type that the castle was made of, but I figured that it would still look nice because it fit within the theme and it was easy to get. Once I was done with that, 
that, the exterior of the base was looking a lot better. I also added some uh, stone brick walls around the edges and extended them down the staircase. I finished things off by adding torches around the walls, making our base mob proof. And I added iron doors with buttons on the outside for additional protection. With the levels we had left over from our travels, I enchanted some gear to try to upgrade it, but I didn't have any good luck. It also turned out I couldn't use a grindstone yet until I progressed further in the quest line, so I couldn't re-enchant the pieces of gear. I at least was able to put a gem onto my leggings called Base Overheal, which makes it so your attacks give you a bit of health absorption. And in good news, I managed to create a power for Flame 1 Infinity Bow, meaning I wouldn't have to worry about arrows anymore. And with those advancements made, I felt prepared to take on the Skeleton Lord. Map to the Skeleton Lord. We have to go northeast. Let's go on our way. I soon approached this strange mushroom structure where I was attacked by a plague of mobs. Let me see if I can try to quickly loot a bit of this. Oh boy. Oh boy, there's a lot of these guys. Holy smokes. Look at this. Look at how many there are. There's no way that's normal. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There was some decent loot I managed to find here, but not without having to combat through hordes of creatures. Wow, wow, wow. Nothing. Eventually, I made it to the top and continued onwards. Lord of Sorcery, the Skeleton Overlord. He is showing up now. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. That's probably it right there. We have found it. I should grab this waystone. And there's an ogre here, which I'm actually going to take out. I think I got him. Yep, he's dead. All right. He dropped a giant eye fragment. A fragment of the giant's eye useful for completing villager quests. Huh. That comes in handy later on, but it was time to move on to our boss fight. I dug out some dirt and built up towards the skeleton overlord. And let me tell you, this guy, I, I can't even call it a guy. This evil spirit is no joke. I do not like this. <laughs> okay. Here we are. I see the boss. Oh boy. What is that? Hey. It's this fire guy. Oh, okay. I'm, just, I'm like two shotting or one shotting these guys. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, back away, folks. Wow, there are a lot of these guys. That's it. I've cleared all the area around us out. And, uh, okay, let's start this fight. I'm just gonna bow at this guy. Oh, yeah. My arrows are doing a lot of damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we gotta dodge that. What is he doing now? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Can I, like, shoot these skulls? What is going on? How do I break these? Oh my goodness. Take shots at him. Let's eat a golden apple in case. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Golden apple. Okay. Take a shot at him. Oh my goodness. Ender pearl. That's good. Take it. one more shot. We got him. Woo! Woo yeah, we got him. Magical eye. Woo! Okay, without this eye, the evoker has no power. Nice. That got a little bit close, but we mostly stayed okay. What is that? What is that? What is that? Die. Die. Oh my goodness. I got it. Ender Pearl down to that village. Oh, there's a look at that. It's a rainbow circle. It's not even just a regular rainbow. I don't know what's going on there. The Skeleton Lord is probably the most powerful undead I've ever seen. I'm surprised you were able to take him down. All right, let's see. The next eye is guarded by a renowned Holy Knight. Map to the Sentinel Knight. None of the adventurers I know ever got past him. I heard he's holding the key that frees the eye from its dormant state. Let's follow this map. Holy moly, look at this. What is this? Is this another boss or, or what is it? Uh, hello? This turned out to be a puzzle room and I was met with my first riddle. Three boxes. One box has gold. There is a message in each. Only one message is true. B1. Gold is not here. B2. Gold is not here. B3. Gold is in B2. Let me know what answer you guys got to this. I don't remember exactly how, but I came to the answer being box one. Uh, something to do with it being the least probable that it was telling the truth. It might be in B1. I don't know. Guys, I'm scared. I think it's in B1. Oh boy. 
Oh, I think I made it past to the next level. The next one was a pattern type of question where it gives you five letters and you have to figure out what order they go in. I ended up getting the answer C, A, B, D, E, and I got it right. The next riddle was a bit more complex and I uh, ended up getting it wrong on the first try, but was able to walk back through and get it right on the second try. And the last riddle was just asking for the order of correct answers, which I remembered and got dropped into a room where I got two spirit orbs as a reward, which was really nice because I could use these for extra hearts. With that done, I headed back out to continue our journey of finding the Sentinel Knight. Soon enough, I found his tree and this castle, which ends up being insane. You're, you're, you're gonna wanna see what happens in there, trust me. Anyways, I was now ready to fight the Sentinel Knight once more. I think I'm ready, enter combat mode, and let's just start bowing him down. We're even doing a good amount of damage through the shield, and honestly, I don't wanna deal with anything, so I'm just gonna deal damage right through the, oh, oh, that thing is creepy. Oh, and here we go, primordial one. Okay. We're gonna ender pearl out of that. No thank you. Should be close to getting him here. Okay, and we got him, finally. Nice, we did that, so that quest is complete. Now let's check out this area here. As I approached the fortress, it gave me the achievement Pillager Fortress. I entered and on the inside found this room with a checkerboard floor and some recruits available for hire. It's like a big pillager castle, it seems. Got some beetroot, might need that. Pumpkin, we're gonna need that. Look at these, <laughs> this looks really cool. As I made my way up, I started running into pillagers and uh, I ran into a an ultimate pillager, meaning that it was buffed up. I carefully took shots at it and it ended up getting me really low before I was able to take it out. I explored the second level and there was a lot of loot scattered around here. Ooh, look at this. A little armory. As I went back to the main lobby, I defeated a raid leader, which ended up starting a raid. I soon after found a room full of evokers. And let me tell you, these guys were not the typical kind. Okay, hello, we got evokers. Let's take these guys out. Whoa. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. What are they? They got some shields. Look at this. They had, like, these shields around them, which wouldn't let me shoot them with my bow, so I had to go in with my sight. I got some totems of undying from this, which was nice, but things did not get any safer. Where? Oh, is this this guy? I think it's that guy. What is he doing? Holy moly. Holy moly. Hold on. The Vexes spawned by evokers were doing a lot of damage and I was having trouble fighting them off. Take them out. Nice. Take that out. Oh, there's another one somewhere. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These guys are doing crazy amounts of damage. I was finally able to find where one of the evokers was shooting me from, and he got me to one heart, so I had to use an enchanted golden apple. When I went back to the little hidden area, the evoker was defeated, and I found a lot of blocks of ore here, as well as ores in the chests. This was some of the best loot I had seen from any chest at all. I made my way to the final lair, and there were a lot of mobs here. By continuing to move around, I was able to avoid most of the attacks coming at me. I defeated the last few mobs remaining here and only at this point realized that my helmet and leggings had broken. The gear I had worked so hard to upgrade was gone. I then pulled this lever that said, uh, that said, do not pull this lever, and an array of animals dropped down on me. But with that, we were done adventuring through this castle. And as a reward, we got a lot of totems of undying, so it was definitely worth it. I dropped off the crazy amount of loot we got at home. I then went to the guildmaster to turn in the completion of my quest, but it turned out that I had to go back to the tree and use the key that the Sentinel Knight dropped on the tree eye, and that gave me an eye and also the completion of the quest. The next quest I received was to defeat the Fire Giant, and this boss... <laughs> You're, you'll see, this this boss is insane. While I wanted to fight the fire giant right away, I needed to make upgrades to my gear because I had broken my most powerful gear at the castle. Now, fortunately for me, I had a lot of gear lying around that I had looted over the past few days, and I upgraded my chest plate. After that, I went out in the dark to test out this new sentinel sword I got from defeating the sentinel knight. I can block, look at that. Boom, special ability. Woo! 
Okay, that's a pretty cool sword, actually. Yeah, our new Sentinel sword was really exciting. I also put Sharpness 4, Smite, and Mending on it, and now it did a lot of attack damage. Additionally, I went to the statue and used my essences to get an additional heart, and I now felt ready to take on the fire giant, or at least as ready as I could be. I set off on my way, and uh, I ran into various structures while searching. I found this ocean village, which was very interesting. It actually had a good amount of loot scattered around the outside, and it had a bunch of ores stacked up as well. But the inside of the buildings here were very empty. That is, until this happened. Oh boy, what is that? What is that? What is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this thing? Okay, that was not fun. That was whatever that thing was. That was not fun. Whoa, look at that. Not this, but look at that. Got a big windmill that does not look very friendly, if I'm completely honest. Wow, they're coming from all over. They're fast, too. Hi there. Hi there. Let's see what's... Ooh, yeah. Yep, that's loggers. All right. Use our ability here. And continue just mowing him down. Woo! The sword's uh, a masterpiece. What can I say? Barrels of loot. Beer. Okay, that's not fun. I'm getting poisoned. Got you. More emeralds? I continued my travels, uh, but then I was met with a very, <laughs> very dangerous beast. Oh my goodness. No way! Oh, I don't know if I want to fight it. I kind of do, though. I want to see how powerful it is. Hey! Is it like running away? Oh, wait, there we go. I'm heading it. Oh, yeah, it's approaching me. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's standing. Oh, I just defeated it. Did I just defeat it? It's still taking damage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't defeat it. I think it's trying to shoot fire at me, but it's not hitting me. Oh, did I defeat it? Oh, I got it. I defeated the fire dragon. Dragon heart. The dragon dropped its heart, which could be eaten to gain a permanent attack speed boost or smelted and used to make fire dragon armor. Since I wouldn't have enough hearts to make a full set of dragon armor anytime soon, I decided I would eat the heart for its attack speed bonus and work towards getting the full set of armor from here on out. Whoa, look at this. Holy moly. Jeez, man. I've never seen something like this ever. Wow. Is that water? Yeah, that's water. Woohoo. Wow. What is that? Whoa. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Skeleton statue. Okay, I have it marked down. Wow, that's like, that's a fully a legitimate skeleton too. What is this statue for? Things are just getting more and more dangerous. We got a bunch of horses here, a chest. We've made it onto the map and I see some crazy thing on the map right now. Yeah, look at that. Get our helmets, totems of undying. And it's time to fight the fire giant. Wow, this place is insane looking. <sighs> it's time to take on the fire giant. Let's do this. Giant knot. Boom. And golden apple. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. The fight has officially started. That's for sure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. You try to. Oh boy. Okay. That's not working very well. I'm gonna end a pearl out of there. Oh boy. Okay. Swing at him a bit. That's good damage. Okay. Ender pearl. Okay. Wow. Wow. I did not know that one hit from him takes out your whole health. Okay. Wow. Good thing we have totems. I'm dying. Oh boy. <sighs> wow. I'm not hitting melee at this guy. I'm only bowing him. That's for sure. Keep running. And bowing. Look at this guy. He's insane looking. Oh, he's going down. What is happening? Is he going to summon something? Oh, oh my god. What? This guy's turning to... Yeah, well, now the fire giant tag makes sense now. That... Whoa, what is that? 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 Can I put that away? Oh, I can't even d d deflect it. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Dodge, dodge. I, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm not even eating steak. I'm eating golden apples. Continue taking shots at him. I have to, oh no, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't let that hit me. Don't let that hit me. Oh boy. 
don't let that hit me. I think only a few shots. Unless he has another phase. Come on. I think we got him. He's down. We got the fire giant. Oh, wow. We got the fire giant. Wow, 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 wow. We did it. <laughs> we did it. What is this? Giant seal. Corrupted eye. The eye of a greedy king that faded in solitude. Legend says it will bring infinite fortune to its wearer. That was the craziest boss I have ever fought. Now, I'm wondering if I'm actually able to attack with this thing. <gasps> oh, my God. Wait, I can use this. Check this out. Wow. Check that out. Oh, my God. As I was heading home on the next day, I found this wizard tower, which I entered, and it seemed like a fairly normal building. It had little journal entries hidden throughout it, which described the inhabitants' studies. Outside, I have developed a rather nice garden. Watching life bloom is incredible. It really makes this place feel alive. Hello. Crystallarium journal. Corundrum crystals grow rather rapidly. I brought in a fragment from within the caves and now they're taking over this level of the tower. Cube? Question mark? He came to the conclusion that the earth was a cube, which, well, it, it made sense in his predicament. At the top floor of this tower, I was met with ghosts, which I took out and I headed back down ready to leave. But it turned out that there was a basement level here and I got a book from a chest in which the writer talked about how they were able to make a potion 10 times stronger than strength. But when I opened the iron door here, it unveiled a beast that I had to take out. See, it almost got me, but I knew where it was going. It seems like the wizard that lived here may have done too much testing with potions and may have turned himself into a monster. With that explored, I made my way back to the guildmaster, who I turned my quest into, and it turned out that I had defeated all five of the bosses holding eyes. From here on out, I would need to find the unique eyes by adventuring and crafting them myself. I had five eyes, meaning I needed to collect seven more. Now, I thought that doing some of the villager quests could aid us in finding some of those eyes, so I set out to do some good around the villages and complete the quest I was given. I also used my spirit orbs at a statue to get an additional heart. I paid Jimmy 18 emeralds so that he would teach me how to fish. Lorelei wanted me to bring her an iron hoe as well as two loaves of bread, for which I got a farmer trading contract. A guard wanted a giant's eye, which we had collected previously, and for this he gave me the skill guard, which lets you block attacks with your sword. Lorinda wanted me to bring her kangaroo meat and hide, so I would work on that in the future. And this old villager named Gigi wanted a spirit orb, which I turned in, but then they wanted another one. Uh, which was getting a bit arrogant, but I, I would return later to deal with this. Finally, a villager named Tijuana wanted me to find her book, which was somewhere in a ruined structure. I decided I would head out to complete this quest. I combined my enchanted chest plate with an uncommon one to make it more powerful, and with that done, I followed the villager's map to the librarian's ruin. Along the way, though, I found this massive tower, which I had never seen before. Yeah, this place is looking crazy. Super creeps. I'm ready to take this place on. As I entered the structure, I was met with a ton of different spider mobs, ranging from spider skeletons to this enchanted cave spider that popped my totem of undying. I was not expecting this place to be so dangerous, but I definitely needed to be very careful from here on out. I went through and broke any spawners that I found and there were a lot of them, that's for sure. After doing that, I went back through and checked what was in the chests, and uh, there were a lot of ores and armor, which was what I needed. I was about to go to the next layer when I started getting shot at and found a skeleton walking on the ceiling. This place... <laughs> This place was cursed. The mobs definitely started getting stronger on the next floor. Worse yet, mobs here seemed to have double their normal health bar, which made it hard to figure out how much damage I was doing to the spiders. The next floor had even more of these ceiling walker guys, and it was not easy to stay alive with them barraging me. I got better at quickly breaking the spawners as I progressed through this tower, and tried to loot the chests while avoiding mobs as best as I could, because when I didn't, this happened. Hold on. Use my sword ability. Swing at all of them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Golden apple. Okay, we're okay. Wow. 
Yeah, I, uh, I had to make sure to keep a distance from all of these creatures. Adventuring through this dungeon was taking a while to the point where I had to start replacing my armor before it broke. One thing that stayed consistent though was my sentient sword. And I've, I've got to say, using this thing was a lot of fun. I went up floor after floor until I finally made it to the tippity top of the tower. That took an immeasurable amount of time. Okay, break. Woo! Okay. Oh my. We've made it to the top. Two pieces of gear almost broken. Almost died a few times, but we made it. The chest here gave me a lot of golden apples and diamonds, even blocks of diamonds. I got some diamond gear as well, and overall, fighting my way through this tower was fairly worth it. I ended Pearl down to continue my search for the librarian's ruin. While running, I saw a mini boss glowing in purple underground. Fighting it wasn't much trouble, other than the fact that it set me on fire with its bow repeatedly, and I soon defeated it and collected my reward. Ooh! <gasps> no! way no way no way no way no way we got we got an epic level item i was very excited to have found an epic level item because i had been adventuring for 71 days and had not found a single one up until now these boots had four armor toughness on them instead of the usual two which was a huge upgrade and they took 25 percent less durability damage it was my objective to at some point have a full set of epic gear and i've got to say later on i get some pretty cool gear anyway I was then continuing my search when this happened. What do we got over there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have going on over here? Whoa. Wait, it's sucking me in. Wait, it's sucking me in. Wait, what's happening? Oh my goodness. I need to go back up. What is this? Oh, what have we just found? What have we just found? This is some type of new dungeon or something. What is going on here? It's pulling me in again. What is this? Depth Dropper 4. Mind your step. Fall into the Abyssal Trench. It's happening again. Oh boy. This is crazy. We will come back here at a later time. No, it's pulling me in again. There we go. Wow. I was not ready to combat that tower yet, but don't worry. You'll see how insane this place is later on. I then boarded a pirate ship, and things were going fine until they weren't. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going in the water. You need a golden apple. Yeah, that was that was not a good time, but I came back up and broke the spawner. I found another one of these ship villages, which I made my way up to, and uh, there were a few quests to collect here. Thu wanted a new fishing rod. Chang wanted a specific wood from the nether called it Blighted Balsa. And there were more quests here that we could do later on. Also, look at this thing. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. I then ran out and found another village and used the waypoint here to return home. And that way I was able to drop off all the loot I had gotten. This was also when I decided to craft something very powerful. I crafted a novice spell book, which has an array of spells you can create. Starting out, I only had the harm spell, which I could deal damage to enemies with, but it wasn't really powerful. However, through my adventuring, I had collected a variety of spells that are much stronger than the typical ones. I had this spell called Potent Toxin, which I tested out on a pig that was on a balcony, and it worked, but it didn't take that much damage. I then noticed that I also had this spell called Takeoff, and <laughs> just just look at this. And it lets me glide for a minute. Holy moly, look at this. This is so good. Yeah, I was really excited to have gotten this spell. I mean, it was basically a set of wings and now I could travel at a much quicker pace. I got protection three on a diamond helmet, which I replaced my previous helmet with, and I also repaired my armor. Now I was ready to continue searching for the librarian's book. We are getting there. Look at this tropical jungle. How cool is that? Volcanic peaks. This is looking crazy. I can't see anything, but we're getting in there. Take that. I was then continuing along with my travels when I got uh, I got attacked by a familiar beast. What's going on? Let us just uh, run a bit real quick and eat a golden apple, okay? Oh, yep, that's definitely a dragon. Come here, you dragon. You big bully. Hello? Come here. Okay, there we go. We got it in fighting distance. Okay, we got to be careful, though. I don't know what it's doing, but we're, I think we got it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. It's trying to ram into me. Take shots at it from here. This is good. Okay. 
Ooh, did we get it? Oh, I think we actually got it. Ooh, wow. After defeating the dragon, I finally found the ruin that I had been searching for. There was a creeper spawner below, which was kind of strange, but as I progressed up to the top, I found a stack of books and chest with the book Ancient Knowledge in it, which is the book we needed to return to the village. After that, I was returning home when I ran into a woodland mansion. This place was a lot more interesting than the typical woodland mansion. There were these different artworks hanging around, which were made out of tapestry tree so I snagged one of each picture there was also a room loaded with chests and barrels which I looked through but didn't really find much loot after that I ran into an invoker who I was easily able to take out and I found this altar right next to him which I wasn't really sure what to do with anyways I progressed through the rest of this place and ran into a lot of evokers along the way who I was more than happy to fight because this gave me a lot of totems of undying and uh, that would help me in the future. I eventually finished clearing the mansion out and continued to search for a village when I found another puzzle room. Here is a puzzle room. Ooh, this one is different. It's like a parkour thing. Now, unfortunately, I can kind of cheat it, can't I? Yeah, but I don't really feel like cheating it, you know? Hold on, let me see if I can do this parkour legitimately. Huh, 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 huh. We're doing pretty good. Oh, okay. Okay, you're just supposed to bounce off. I would be lying if I said that I didn't fail more than a few times, but in the end, it turned out that I was going down the wrong pathway the whole time, and when I finally went through the correct one, I was able to collect my reward of two spirit orbs. Oh, this is a little bandit village. Let's see what else we got going on around here. Hello, we got these guys around. Feed that, and that. What do we got? More iron, gold more ores. Hello, fellas. Oh, boy. They're actually doing some damage to me. Oh, hello. Are you having a party or what? Can I even trade this guy? Okay, nothing good. Nothing good. Another puzzle. Wow, what we got going on? Parkour again? This parkour is pretty strange. I'm not sure. Um. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? Okay, I'm back in. Holy moly. Oh, you know what? I'm done. I'm not doing this legitimately. I'm sorry. This one's just a bit too confusing for me. I found a village with a waystone, which let me return home and hand in my quests. I handed in the additional spirit orb to Gigi, and it turned out that she scammed me and then explained to me that I can't trust everyone in this village. Now, she did uh, she did return the spirit orbs to me, but you know what? She had a point, and you'll see why very soon. I also returned to Juana her book in return for which I got a cookie and a source gem. Yeah, uh, the, the rewards weren't that great. I also gave pumpkin seeds to Tegan, who was excited about starting his new pumpkin farm, so that was nice. But after that, I ended up running into a familiar face. Oh, hello. You don't want to give me a quest? Okay. Why are the people it's so mean to me in this village? It's you, isn't it? It's you. You're the guy who won't talk to me. Well, you know what? You don't want to talk to me? Huh? Huh? Okay, what if I give this guy an emerald? Oh, wow, he's taking emeralds from me. Wait, what? Yeah, the villager just started taking the emeralds I offered on a whim, and with all villagers, they usually return something for payment, but this guy... This guy just didn't learn his lesson. Let me go and grab my emeralds. And if this guy pulls a quick one on me, we're gonna have a big problem, okay? Emeralds. I'm telling you, man, you're not gonna wanna pull a fast one on me, okay? It's not gonna end up going well for you, okay? And there we go, quest completed. Okay, he just took, he just took 18 of my emeralds and gave me nothing back. You know, usually things don't work that way. I didn't wanna do it. Yeah, this, um, it's got me angry. I just want you all to know that what I'm about to do was completely out of my control, okay? Okay, I'm gonna sleep the night off first, though. Actually, no, I'm not. Because you know what's even more beautiful than a house burning down? A house burning down in the night. We're gonna sit right up on this cliff, and we're gonna watch it burn. Next time, you'll think twice about scamming me, okay? How about that? We're not gonna be having that problem anymore, are we? I can cry how beautiful it is. You know what? I'm even gonna have a nice deep rest after that. All right, I think we've done uh, enough damage to this house for now. We can we can save it for now. I burned that villager's house down and I don't regret it. So uh, 
Thanks, Gigi. I returned home and at this point came to the conclusion that doing villager quests likely wouldn't lead me to any eyes directly. So I decided I would start adventuring for the eyes and complete quests along the way. So it's time to head into the nether. Hopefully we can find some more eyes there. Uh, now I'm gonna need obsidian, which I have a little bit of, but not enough. So let's grab a water bucket and head down. And I'd say our best strategy is just gonna be digging down. Oh, and I have dug <laughs> into a spawner room and nothing amazing in the chests there's a way going down here but let us continue with trying to find lava okay really guys guys come on guys guys you're not supposed to be doing guys guys stop stop guys oh my goodness oh 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 no not one of these guys get away from me no get this haunted thing away from me Found a mine shaft. Yes, it's a lava pool. Yes, I've been searching for you for so long. Come here, lava. Come here. Thank you. Okay, we got it. With the obsidian gathered, I headed home and created another portal to enter into the new dimension. The ancient spirits of light and dark have been released. Expert mode. I don't know what that meant. I think the mobs are going to be stronger now or something. What is. Hello? Oh, I see a glowing mob over there. What is this thing? Ew! Get away. That's not a good way to be welcomed here. Look at this thing. Oh my god! The giant squids! Oh, and look at that guy. I, this guy's like a boss. Oh yeah, he's a boss. And we got him. Ooh, an epic item. Ooh, two empty sockets. This is a really good chest plate. Okay, let's see what awaits us. Good thing we have this spell book. This is gonna make exploring through the nether so much easier. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Why can't things ever just be simple? What do we got going on in here? That's a sentry blaze right there, I guess. It has a total of undying. Got a barrel. A lot of redstone here. Looks like we got a bastion remnant over here. Hello. Yeah, these guys have like double health. I think when it said expert mode, it meant that these guys are much stronger. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they do a lot of damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, half a heart. Okay, I'm not going in for melee hits anymore. That is not the move. Okay, did you just splash me with fire resistance? Oh, I appreciate it, man. Oh, fire resistance potions. Nice. Get away. Some decent stuff here. Oh, an epic axe. Oh my goodness. Wow, my gear is about broken. I need a new helmet. This guy just took out all of my health. Back away. Well, I saw an epic axe here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, and epic boots. I guess uh, epic items are more common in the nether, but it's only the gold items that are epic, it seems. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Toxic heap. Wow. This looks insane. And this is another fortress. I started exploring the nether fortress and uh, this is when some something uh, really, really bad happened. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Holy moly. I don't think my shots are hitting it. Oh, it's this guy right here. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I think he's gone. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that was an insane mob. I guess the little guy summons that skeleton thing. I did not expect that at all. I continued on to find another eye in the fortress, which was exactly what I needed. And then this castle caught my eye. This place was filled with wither skeletons, but also good loot. I got myself a new helmet, which was nice. And I also found some epic leggings here. I also found an epic trident here, which was a very cool find. And other than that, scouted the bottom of the castle where I found some diamonds. After that, I headed over to the crater that was nearby. This place had a pit of lava in the middle and a lone barrel on the top, which I carefully approached and uh, got this insane radiation shield. This thing inflicts bleeding, releases some kind of radiation, and gives you a lot of armor. The only issue was that I couldn't use it with a totem of undying at the same time. And, uh, well, I accidentally dropped my totem while thinking about this, which, it, that, that was a terrible mistake. Because there was a monster awaiting me. 
I would like to grab that back. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We are, yep. Yeah, yeah, this is why we need the total one dying on us. Can I? Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Things are not going great at all. Definitely some kind of beast here. Which has a lot of health. Oh, I got it. I looted the rest of the barrels that were here. I found this hazmat chest plate, which was made out of leather, uh, but had a lot of interesting perks on it. I headed out and soon found this new building. Whoa, look at this. What is the nether doing to me, man? What is it doing to me? Let me break in here using this pickaxe. There wasn't really much here, so I decided to return home. Uh, but while I was doing that, I found another cool building. Oh, I think there's a boss in here, isn't there? Alter nether statue to summon the inferno. First a warrior, be worthy, strong, something blaze. We're gonna mark down the coordinates and we're gonna return when we're geared up. Ah, and there's our portal. Back home we go. And we need to do something with our gear. I then spent time upgrading and putting gems onto all of the new epic gear we had found. Because of the gem sockets, I was able to add a lot of additional perks on the armor, like attack range and additional armor points. I also added two base overheal gems onto a new sword, which it basically gives you life steal. Now, I thought that this gear was gonna be extremely powerful. I mean, I had a full set of epic level gear. And so I headed into the nether to find out. I found a bastion and got to testing my new sword out right away. I attacked very, very quickly and because of the gems on the sword, I gained absorption hearts along the way. It was pretty powerful, I have got to say. The chest in the middle had some decent diamond gear which I picked up and as soon as I looted that, I made sure to get out of here because I was getting attacked from a lot of different directions. I ended up having to return home because I ran completely out of food and I took the chance to combine my epic gear with gear that had enchantments on it to make it even stronger. Yeah, my gear was looking really good. I went out to search for food after that and this took me way too long. Using my flame bow and looting five, I was able to get a lot of cooked meat when I did find animals, but I ended up just cooking some raw chicken because I didn't find any, any animals in my search. Anyways, with all that cooked up, I headed into the nether. While adventuring, I ran into a dangerous, very dangerous boss. Okay, let's do this. Oh boy, um, okay, holy moly, these guys are not shootable, <laughs> they look crazy, and the boss is already coming after me, whoa, this guy's barely taking damage, okay, there we go, got some damage on it, wait, I was not ready, get some melee hits on it, oh boy, oh, my roll did not work, get some melee hits on it, oh, roll away, Woo! Okay, let's shoot at it a bit. Ow. Oh boy, oh boy. I have no more totems of undying. Oh, it's healing. How is it healing? Okay, that's really bad. Oh boy, what is it doing? We should be good. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got it. Wait, we didn't get it. Wait, what's happening? How is it not dead? Oh, finally, we got it. Wow. What is this guy? What 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 are you doing? Get away from me. Jeez, monstrous horn, infernal forge. Whoa, look at this weapon. Look at this. Woo! Apparently this is a pickaxe. Wait, hold on. Whoa. Um, okay. I'm gonna put it away for now as well as that. While I had defeated the netherite monstrosity, I also ran out of all of my totems of undying, meaning that I had no fail safe if anything went wrong. With that being said, adventuring in the nether without any totems would be extremely dangerous and not something that I could safely do, so I decided I would return to the overworld for now. I wanted to find some more eyes in the overworld and pick up some quests to do along the way. I ended up finding a guard that had the same child uh, kidnapping quest as before, so I followed it, uh, but things did not go exactly to plan. While searching, I found this pink mansion which I was already familiar with and knew that evokers would be on the inside. If I could defeat them, I would be able to get their totems on undying and uh, that would let me continue my adventures in the nether with safety. That gives us a totem of undying. If I can quickly head in here, maybe. Try to defeat the evoker. We popped his totem of undying. We got him. There we go. It's another totem of undying. That's good. I'm wondering if I can get more totems of undying this way. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should be satisfied with two totems of undying. I went inside to see what was in the chest and barrels here, 
and it was actually working out all right because my gear made me invisible every so often, so I could more so glide past the mobs. And with two tones of undying, I headed out. I continued following the guard's map and followed it to its end, but when I reached the X, there was nothing here. I even checked to see if it spawned underground, but instead of finding the pillager's castle, I found a foundry. And uh, this place... It, it, it's not a good place to be. I know for a fact this isn't an easy structure to adventure through. Well, the kid's not here, but I mean, this could give us some good loot, so let's check it out. I broke another spawner, but within seconds of fighting these guys, my totem on my dying got used. My curiosity, unfortunately, got the best of me because I continued adventuring through here, even though I definitely shouldn't have. I soon found this opening to a lower level of the foundry, but when I headed down, ah, uh, I think things just went bad. There's water here. Let's let that out. Let's see what we can do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. I should have known. Yeah, that was that was definitely my fault though. Uh, I came back up to the village to collect some more quests and got this one from Anne that wanted a netherite ingot. I decided I would complete this quest even though it very well could be a scam, but I only had two ancient debris. So I went uh, to Y level 15 in the nether and mined with my insane three by two pickaxe. So I was able to find two pieces of ancient debris in literally no time. I crafted the netherite ingot I needed and gave it to Anne, who gave me one emerald, but also a contract that lets me trade with toolsmiths, so that could be useful in the future. I had a lot more of these contracts just lying around, so I finally decided to make a lectern and sign them, so now I could actually trade with a good amount of villagers. I then did a few more basic quests, like learning how to use the fletching table. I gave this villager named Conception 12 glowstone dust, and then I found a villager named Marquita, who had an interesting quest she wanted a, an hourglass so i crafted that and gave it to her in return for which i got a trading contract for the fishing guild i then went to another village where uh, I, I did a few more quests uh, odell wanted shears and also emeralds to teach me how to use the loom and then i actually found a villager who taught me how to use the grindstone for 10 emeralds which was uh it was a really nice deal i handed in the kangaroo supply that lorinda wanted for which i got raw beef uh yeah that was not a great reward and and after all of that village questing, I decided that I would fight the Wither because that would give me another eye that I needed to reach the end. Fortunately for me, I already had three Wither Skulls and was able to quickly get the Soul Sand I needed. And now it was time to fight the Wither. So I moved far away from our base and this fight ended up being a lot more challenging than I could have expected. Golden Apple up. Let's do it. Come at me, man. Oh wow, it's like dashing. Is this? Oh my goodness, it's spawning minions. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not what I was expecting. Let's, let's fight its minions a bit? Okay. Wow. Okay, it's another shot. We have a whole army of its minions following us. Oh my goodness. Okay. You know what? Let's just use that for a moment. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, there we go. It's in melee mode. Okay. Let's fight it at melee distance a bit. The absorption's really helping. Oh, boy. It just went invisible. Okay. Let's get hits on it. What is it doing? Come on. Come on. We got it. We got it. That was definitely an upgraded version of the Wither. I got uh, the Wither Eye, and I also got an extra heart, which was nice. I was now up to three additional hearts. Now, at this point, I finally decided that it would be a good idea for me to start brewing potions so that I could be stronger going into fights with bosses. However, I didn't have any nether wart, so I needed to head into the dreadful nether. The plus side was that there was supposedly another eye to be found in the nether, so this would be worth the trip potentially. As I was searching, I found another one of these piglin villages and checked inside to see if I could find any nether wart here, but after checking it, it didn't seem like there were any traces of any nether wart, so I continued along. I then found another fortress, which was perfect because I would be able to collect nether wart from here but right behind it was this oh my goodness what is over there holy moly look at this 
Oh my goodness. An Elliger Refuge, the Elliger Sanctum. Wow, this is so cool. Whoa. Holy moly. <laughs> What's going on in here? Leering Banner? What is that? I got a bit sidetracked with a Blaze mini boss that I defeated and got a very good epic helmet from, and then defeated this Wither Skeleton mini boss who actually dropped Nether Ward. So I was completely done with that objective. With that, I headed back to this insane structure. I started adventuring through, and in this room uh, with a bunch of leaves, I found this hidden staircase going into a basement. I found some gold blocks as well as a chest that had a bunch of loot in it including a bunch of ores, potions, and epic level items. I progressed through the halls and found more of these chests loaded with loot, including an epic crossbow that had two empty sockets on it. It inflicts poison and deals magic damage. This thing was <laughs> insane. I then progressed further, seeing the sword banner, which uh, you'll see why this is very important soon. This ended up being a maze, which I navigated my way around and ran into a chest that also had a bunch of ores and crossbows again. I found a barrel, which had some upgraded armor, which was decent, and sooner enough I ran up to this whoa is this a sword oh my goodness it was a trap it was a trap but we got the sword I think okay we're okay I had gotten the legendary sword Daybreaker, which could make any mob drop gold. As a consequence of me collecting the sword, the whole floor had turned to lava and I had to edge my way out of the maze. I finally made my way out and broke the banner as a trophy for the sword we found. I then continued adventuring through the area and found this main lobby with a lava pit. I jumped down to see if there was anything hidden here and there did turn out to be a secret button that opened up the wall to a new hallway. There was a lot of ground to cover here and I found more barrels loaded with loot and I'm talking a lot of these barrels. Still, none of the eyes that I needed though. I ran into some mobs here which gave me the perfect chance to test out the Daybreaker. And uh, well, the, the Wither Skeleton only dropped one golden nugget, but I did figure out later that uh, the amount of gold just kind of varies. Adventuring down here definitely felt like it was never ending because I just found more and more stuff to loot. I then saw a mini boss that I mined down to and defeated, uh, and there ended up being a whole new underground area here. There were more hallways here and more chests, so one of which actually gave me a really, really strong diamond chest plate that I happily equipped. I found out that this was just a section of the nether fortress when I came up some stairs, and uh, I then went back to the holy building to quickly see what was on the top floor. And this place was quite the sight. There was this little uh, altar with some raw gold, and then I adventured through the sides of the structures, which had long staircases going up. There was mostly just a lot of cool design here, but uh, there were some barrels and a lot of golden blocks too. With that, I was finally done adventuring through this huge structure that we had found. On the hunt for more eyes, I continued my search in the nether. I saw a piglin mansion, which I checked out, and there were a bunch of these guys that attacked me right Right away. I defeated the rest of the piglins from outside and then headed inside to see what loot was here. It didn't seem like there was uh, anything we needed here though, so I moved on. I then flew into this massive, massive building. It was full of some buffed up piglins and I knew that this place was very dangerous. So I kind of ran around a little bit to see what I could find and found seven golden apples in one chest, which was really good, but I was getting chased down by piglins the whole time and decided that I would return here later when I would be better prepared. I finally came back home and started preparing to take on the battle tower and its guardian, which uh, this this battle tower is, uh, is, is very difficult to defeat, as you'll see soon. I started another wart farm and brewed some strength and fire resistance potions, and instead of using them normally, I wanted to craft these charms, which would allow me to activate or deactivate the potion effect whenever I'd want to, and it stores it all into one item. I needed blaze powder to make those, so I headed to another fortress and farmed up some blazes with my looting five axe. I was able to get 20 blaze rods in no time, and with that, I headed back home and crafted the strength 
in fire resistance charms. I then also brewed uh, some regeneration potions to craft a regeneration charm as well. I made sure my gear was all well prepared and headed out in search of a battle tower. I saw an ocean monument while on the search, which is definitely a structure we will need to take on in the future and will probably have one of the eyes that we need. Only by day 100 was I able to find a battle tower and so I flew in. Now in this battle tower, I had to collect a total of three keys to summon the guardian of the battle tower, the entombed watcher. There are chests on each of the levels of the battle tower, but to open them, you need to break the spawners around them. Doing this was easy on the first floor, but it just gets more and more challenging up until the final floor. Unfortunately, I didn't get a key from the first chest, and uh, on the second floor, I didn't get a key either. I got up to the next floor and took out the spawners here with ease, and to my great fortune, the chest here had one of the three keys. But when I made my way up to the next floor, things started to get very, very dangerous. Take them out, take them out. Oh boy, oh boy. Taking some damage. Oh my goodness. I came back around to break it and uh, the chest on this layer didn't have any key, unfortunately. And remember what the floor we just did looked like? Um, imagine that times five, because the next floor was like an apocalypse of mobs. It was extremely hard to reach the spawners, and while trying to do so, I got my last totem of undying used. I had to be really careful from now on, and I formulated a new plan. I baited all of the mobs to me, and then broke the spawner that was on the complete opposite side. Okay. So we baited them all down, break this spawner. Okay, that's good. As they were now, there was just too many mobs to do anything safely. I flew back and the room was empty, which was perfect, so I took out the spawner and looted the chest. Knocking out the first two spawners on the next floor was easy, but uh, it turned out that there was a third spawner and I was struggling to find it big time. Where are you spawning? Where do you spawn from? Ah, here's one. That's, that's the one. I finally figured it out, which it was ridiculously hard for me to do, but I got the second key as my reward. I then made my way up to an even more difficult layer, and the mobs here were... <laughs> They were like at 10 times the spawn rate. This was insane. Luckily, I was able to break the first spawner right away and then bolted for the wall to break out and reset the mobs again so I would have a shot at breaking the other spawners. No key here though, which meant that I had to clear another floor and this was, this was getting very dangerous. Gotta break these fast. Two, boom, three broken. I was able to quickly take out all the spawners here, but started taking massive amounts of damage as soon as I tried to clear the mobs out. I took a break on the top of the tower and then started slowly bowing each creature down. Things got uh, very close again, so I flew out and in and got a third key. It turns out that three keys was all I needed, but I thought that I needed four, and I knew that uh, I had one in my castle. So in a race against time, hoping to defeat the boss before the sunrise of day 101, I headed to the village that was near the battle tower, and to my great, great luck, there was a waystone here. That meant that I was able to teleport back, grab the key, and zip right back up to the battle tower and fight the final monster guarding it. Okay, we can start the fight. Let's go for it. Four. Oh, I only needed three keys, apparently. It's spawning. Let's go. There he is. There he is. Okay. We just gotta strafe away. Get some hits in. Oh, yeah. Gotta be a little bit careful. Should be good to go, though. Oh, he's turned red. And let's get some melee swings. Boom got him the ocean depths begin to stir oh yeah now the tower is breaking so we might want to get lost let's just head to the bottom here this 100 day adventure was the craziest one i have ever been on but we are not done yet in the world of dawncraft we still have five eyes to collect and an ender dragon to defeat we progressed really far in these 100 days collecting seven of the 12 eyes defeating all of the bosses in the main storyline and building up a full set of epic gear i honestly just uh, i can't wait to see what we can do in the 200 days 
Okay, so back from where we left off. We just defeated that battle tower, which is good for us. Now, since the last episode, a whole quest tree has been added. This gives us a bunch of information about the pack. Okay, now from where we left off, I believe we had seven of the total 12 eyes we need. Eight. Okay, we have eight out of the 12 eyes. So in that case, I need four more. And I know for a fact I haven't gotten one from the desert or snow biomes. So I think that's the next place I can get them. Additionally, I know that two of the eyes are craftable, including the witch eye and the undead eye. Let us search for desert and snow biomes and hopefully we can find some of the eyes in those. What is up there? Is that the skeleton lord or is that something else? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Now, unfortunately, my takeoff can only get me so far, but there is water coming down here, which is uh, perfect. Oh my goodness. What do we got going on? Oh, I cannot see. I think I just saw a spawner. Possibly. Oh, yep. That's a rat spawner. Cloud storage. Interesting. Okay, let me break that. Oh my goodness, they're poisonous. Hello. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> I don't like that at all. Get away from me. You little creatures. Ow! Oh my god! These rats are on steroids, man. That thing just RKO'd me out of nowhere. I hate rats. I hate them. You know, I was trying to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. I hate you guys. You guys are terrible. I hate you all. Die. Oh, this is a good place to get a bunch of essences. Oh, what is that? That's like a frosty ghoul. Oh, there's a boss here, isn't there? There's definitely a boss here. I don't know how to summon it. Oh, what is that? Oh, I think that's the... Is that the boss? Did the boss just spawn? Okay, I mean, I have golden apples as a food source, and I don't want to have to leave yet. So let's see if this guy is an actual boss. Magis Speller. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's sucking me in. He's sucking me in. Ow. Wait, do I have ender pearls? No, I don't. Oh, boy. Okay, when he does that, I think we have to get behind the tower. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's healing. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Holy smokes, this guy's insane. Oh yeah, oh boy, he's summoning Vexus. No, sir, we don't like that. No, sir, no, 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 get those away from me. No, I don't know what they're like, little astronaut thing. He's like, what is that? Oh my God, I don't like that sound. Stop it, I'm eating a golden apple. It's literally my food source. These are like mini totems on dying. That's kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie to you. He's healing, where is he? Where is he, he's healing. And where did this guy go? What? Did he go down? Hello? Oh my god. Not with the rats, man. Why? Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to do this? I'm just bowing him down. This guy has a huge forehead. This is like Mega Mind. Oh my god, it's Mega Mind. I just realized. I got him. Holy moly. Holy moly. That was that was quite the experience. Totem of banishment. What is this for? Ah, okay, so apparently what this totem does is it banishes nearby vexes. So that might be useful when we have to hunt down evokers. In fact, it'll be very useful. That item comes very in handy later on indeed. I continued onwards and needed food, but before I could collect some, I ran into this house. It seemed to be an interesting steampunk themed house and I took some time to loot the crates on the inside. While I was here, the house ended up starting to burn because there was a pool of lava nearby, so uh, yeah, sorry to whoever's house that was. I thought I had explored everything, but uh, soon I found a secret underground compartment. Oh, there's an underground part here. Whoa, look at this. It's a hidden little underground section. Oh, would you look at that? There's a book, Bamboo Spikes. Notes, Bamboo makes an excellent spike. It impaled right through my wooden test dummy. Oh, ooh, it goes down lower. Hello, whoa. Oh, oh my god. This place is booby trapped. Okay, wait, I have to time it. Oh. Brick. Brick. I can't get hit here, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're good. I don't have a totem of undying either. Oh, look at those things. Ah! <laughs> this place is scaring me. Okay, there's a ladder there. Okay, we have to jump to that ladder in time. Okay. No, no, no. Ow. Okay. Go, go. Okay, we're good. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Oh my goodness, guys. Guys. Oh, there's a monster box. 
there's two monster boxes. I don't, those are not good. So if you get blown into them, you're going to spawn a bunch of monsters. I think that's what we have to try to avoid. But how do you avoid that? And where should I try to go? Do I have to get over there? I think so. Guys, I was simply trying to look for food. Oh my goodness. Why does this happen to me every time? The layer down here seems kind of safe. Oh my goodness. Let me rephrase. The area seems as safe as it can be, but it is definitely not safe at all because we got cave spiders trying to poison me. I think I'm supposed to try to get up, up over there. Oh boy. Okay. We made it over. Is there any better loot or something around here? Um, hello. There's spawners over here. Break these. Break that. Oh, uh, here's a book. Rocky Rollers. The shaking effects of the Rocky Roller creature is incredible. Maybe you could achieve something similar by crafting their scales. Are you telling me there's like a boss here? Oh, there's a monster box over there. See, that's not good. We're just gonna sneak around like so. Look at that. That does not look good. That does not look good. Oh, oh. Um, I'm on top of it. I'm on top of it. I've tricked the system here. Potion of invisibility. I feel like I should use that. Um... Okay, there's a bunch of spikes. Oof. Okay, we're good. Mechanical drills and spikes. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a new place. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. I think that's the rocky roller thing right there. We need to get over there. Is this that where we need to go? There's some kind of titanium plating. This thing's dying to the poison bamboo spikes. First, I think I can go here. Go here, break the spawner. Good. I think we need to go there, but it's blowing against us. Oof. Oh, item vault. Wait, I actually made it. Hold on. Item vault? Hand crank. Let's crank it. Nothing's happening yet. Oh, okay. You have to shift right click it. That's what it is. There we go. We have opened up the vault. Let's see what we can find in here. Oh, a bunch of ores. Crushed iron ore. There is a lot of loot here. A bunch of mechanical things. A book. Let's see what that said. Rods of fire. Blaze rod experiment. After thoroughly testing the rods of fire, I discovered they make great lighting sources. You can place them down with proper equipment and they look great. Oh, I guess that's interesting to know. What does this say? Well done. So you've made it into the Tinker's Vault, huh? Well done. You've outdone my glorious traps, bebobs, and bimboops. <laughs> you deserve what's coming your way. That message seemed a bit sketchy. Like, you deserve what's coming your way. You know what I mean? I feel like like, like this room's about to start closing down on me or something. Uh, we got some blocks of iron and zinc and other things. So I'll grab that. Ooh, and a little diamond block. That's nice. Uh, rose quartz. Oh, another diamond block in there. Okay, that seems to be it though. It seems like we have looted the entire vault. Now, the thing is, there's no way out, it seems, which is a bit, uh, it's a little bit discouraging actually. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh, pfft. Okay, I activated the monster spawner. Oh, 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 okay, 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 wow. Okay, how do we get out of here though? I don't know where, where the way out is, so I'm just gonna mine out. Ah, okay. Oh, and here's a desert. This is exactly what we wanted. Oh, looks like this is a pillager campsite. Hello there, folks. Bow them all down from here. Slowly infiltrate this place. And let us see. Oh, okay. Got him. They don't seem to be doing that much damage. Oh, this guy's enchanted. So we are not going to attack him in melee range. That's for sure. That's for sure. See, when they're enchanted like that, you don't want to mess with them, I'm telling you. Do we have anything in here? No. Okay, so let us get out of here. Oh, and there's another pillager castle over there, which would actually be perfect for us to loot because I have no totems of undying and having some will come very much in handy. Look at that. We have a new entrance. Ha hand crank. Oh! Looks like the inside of this castle is pretty much the same as the last one we were at. We are just here for Totems of Undying, so we can kind of speed past most of everything. Ah, Evoker. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta be careful. And, oh boy. Golden Apple. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I need to equip that Totem of Banishment. That's gonna help me with Vexes. Vexes? Let's see if the Totem of Banishment works. Oh yeah. All of them are gone. Kill all of his vexes. Got him. Oh, okay. I have two tunnels of undying now. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. There you are. And there's another one over here. Got him. And 
if I can get to them. Thank you. And these are some of the best chests you can get. They're just full of loot. Look at that. Okay, we can head up. Oh boy. Let me banish all of those vexes. And you're going down. Yeah, you're gone. Oh, hello. Oh boy. Okay, banish all the vexes. Come here. I think that's all the evokers. We got a total of seven totems of undying, which is really, really good. Oh, and my helmet is almost broken. Lucky for me, I have my anvil, so I can easily repair it. We really should get to upgrading all of our gear. It is turning out to be really difficult to find a snow or desert biome. Oh, and here's another puzzle room. It looks like we need to unlock that door, but how do we do that? Lever? Oh boy. I think you slowly kind of transfer the waves of redstone by pressing the different levers and such. Oh, I think I did it. There we go, key drop down, orange key. Right click to open an orange lock, boom. Ah, there we go. And we got our two spirit orbs, nice. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, um, what is this? Hello? What is that? Oh, I just right click. Oh, Martian. Look at this guy. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. He teleported onto me. Take that. Oh, he's dropping down. His health's down, but he's not dying. Uh, hello? Sir? There we go. Oh my goodness, that was a pretty cool boss. Gem, the only remain left of the Martian would be difficult to find a weaponsmith that can make use of this foreign material. Whoa, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, I did not expect to run into that at all. Nothing like that. Something up in the sky over there. What is up there? Look at that. I would like to check that out. Oh, that's a dragon. It is hard to hit this guy. This is a much more advantageous position here. I don't even know if my arrows are hitting this guy. What is it doing? Oh! Oh! This whale almost just killed me. It just got me to half a heart. I didn't even mean to... Okay, I didn't even mean to shoot the whale. Now I'm gonna have to kill the whale. Everything's going wrong, huh? This dragon's just drowning. Oh! Taking a lot of shots at it. Oh my god! Okay, well, apparently that's a thing. There's another totem of undying. Did I get it? Oh, finally. That was quite the experience, gotta tell y'all. Now, I did update the game. Let's see if the guildmaster has any new thoughts since the update. Follow your calling. The unattended eyes. So seven eyes that are unattended by eye holders. The ones that can be found in structures include the curse of the old, and the other ones can be crafted with the life forces in a realm. However, I do know that clerics are currently in possession of the evil eye. Whoa. Okay, wait, so that gives us a good amount of information about where the eyes are. Alrighty, well, let's continue along. Here's a snowy biome. Maybe we can have some luck with finding something here. There's also a puzzle room, which we can check out. What do we got going on here? Ooh, this is a new one. Looks like we got some parkour over there. A lock over there. And I guess a puzzle. How do I know which buttons to press? Um, maybe we'll find out by doing the parkour. Let's try. Press the button. I don't know what that did. Did that do anything? Huh. Strange. I don't hear or see anything happen when I press this. I might have to take the loss on this one. Because it is pretty confusing. So let us continue along. Look at that. We got some moose. Yeah, no luck. No luck at all. There's a little pillager tower over here, which we can check out. Gotcha. Oh, and this one's getting poisoned somehow. Ow. Who's doing that? Oh boy, I see who's doing the poisonous stuff. Is it you? It is, isn't it? Yes, plagued. We got him. Anything over here? Some basic loot. Rabbit stew. Anything else here? Some okay loot. I think it's a good time to waystone home. Hello, Noopy. It's <laughs> nice to see you again. Here you go. Here's a piece of steak, Noopy. Okay, well, I guess we should try to do some more villager quests. And hopefully we can find this evil eye that the clerics are supposed to have and the other eyes that they might tell us about as well. This guy wants two melon seeds. I think I actually have melons. Oh, yes, I do. Is this you? Yes, there we go. Four sweet berries as well. Villagers myself can't risk going into the woods to collect these. You hear the villager chuckle as he finishes his sentence. Is he scamming me? The last guy that scammed me, I had a problem with, okay? You understand? You understand? You live here? This is your windmill? Okay, I'll remember that, okay? 
What's your name again? Cindy. Okay, Cindy. Oh, look at these hyenas. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so sweet berries. Maybe we can find some in this forest here. There's source berries, but we don't need those. I feel like there should be some in this forest biome. It's got snow too. Hello. Look at this cat. Oh my goodness. I wish I could tame it or something. That's pretty cool. This is a really cool cat. Interesting little place here. There's a villager here. Interesting. Are these fellas trapped or what's going on? Who is this pillager? Did he just kill a villager or what do we do? Who did he just kill? They're safe now. There's something up here in the sky. What do we got going on here? I feel like it's just like literally rocks without anything on them, but I'm going to check them out anyways. There better be something up here. I mean, this is this is taking a lot of work. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> Wheat. Oh my goodness. This thing's trying to blow me off. Hey, stop that. Sky of annoying. Yes, I agree. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This is like a trap. Everything's trying to kill me. Go away. Cloud block. <laughs> Looks like there's nothing else here other than clouds trying to kill me. I do see this shipwreck, which actually uh, looks very interesting. <laughs> and it also has some swordfish floating around, which cannot be friendly. No way they're friendly. I can't hear anything underwater. Oh my goodness, I cannot hit it. Okay, outside of combat mode, I can hit it. This is very weird. Fish bones. What else do we have here? Ow, I'm drowning. This is interesting. Anything here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. I'm nauseous. Ooh, whoa, whoa. That, that is not good for me. Look at this nausea effect. There's a book here. Bubbles. And a wheel. Can I spin this wheel? No, I can't. That's too bad. There's a cannon here, which is really cool. Whoa, schematic cannon? Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm already drowning. The pirate war. Okay, okay. Oh, golden apple crate. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, no. I got greedy. Oh, no. Okay, golden apple. We're gonna need to get that golden apple crate. Oh my goodness. Go away. Go away. Guys, go away. Why are you doing this? That's mean. You shouldn't do this. Iron forged skellawag skull. Ooh, look at that. I got a new sword. Okay, let's get that golden apple crate. There it is. Got it. And we're good. All right, I'm out of there. Golden apple crate. Boom, nine golden apples. Not bad. Bubbles. Today we found a wild axolotl. We decided to name it Bubbles after much deliberation amongst the crew. Pirate War. Today, Captain Crazen took us to Skull Island to officially declare war on the monster known as Captain Mayo. They hope their captain can defeat them. Oh, and they lost the pirate war. That's unfortunate. Okay, that was a sad story. And to think I started this whole trip for sweet berries. It did not work out well at all. Danny wants help with something. What do you want help with? Uh, you want spruce logs for? Sure, no problem, Danny. I gotcha. In fact, there's spruce trees right here. Hey, Danny. Here you go. Oh, he gave me an emerald. That's nice of you, Danny. Oh, and you want 50 emeralds for me to learn how to use a fletching table. Okay, okay. Boom. Thank you very much. <gasps> Sweet berries. Found them, finally. Okay, so that quest is done. Ooh, look at these towers. Holy moly. <laughs> I think we saw these on literally day one of our adventures in Dawncraft, but I was not prepared at all to enter them. Oh, hello. Look at this guy. We're gonna take you out. Definitely curious as to what is inside of these towers. Ah, okay. I've been to a structure like this in my past adventures. Let's see if we can find anything good here. A lot of iron. And I do plan on returning to all of the other structures that we found along our adventures. Oh my goodness, that is not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Oh, these guys are a bit dangerous. Oh, okay. That's not good. Diamonds. Ooh, enchanted golden apple. Okay, that's pretty good. Try to break this spawner before anything spawns again. Thank you. A map. That's very weird. Just says number 94. Okay, it looks like it leads you to a combat area, but it's pretty close, so we should check out where that goes okay let's follow this weird weird map frozen peaks biome maybe we can find some snowy structures here here's another one of the massive dungeons instead of going through the whole thing again i'm gonna go just all the way to the top and hopefully get some of the loot that's up here let's hope that this glide can get us in there and it can let me make sure to break these spawners if i can really quickly boom what do we got in here pretty good stuff <laughs> a lot of enchanted bottles and diamonds <laughs> thank you very much not a bad little little loot rummage okay it seems like there might be a dungeon down here we might have a long way to go down we're in a mountain biome so we're only at y level 90 stone free 
Find a mining system. Oh, what is going on here? There's a skeleton. Hello. There are a lot of spawners here. There we go. I think the best thing to do is going to be to clear out all the spawners, and then we can come back and see what's in the crates. These guys aren't hitting too hard, though, which is good. Ooh, and I'm getting a bit low. <laughs> Okay, we've kind of cleared out a line. Oh, 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 okay. But let's see what's in these crates. Some iron ingots, more iron potatoes. Uh, there's some kind of a new music disc, so I'll take that. But other than some iron and baked potatoes, I'm not finding much else. Oh my God. And more. Like the spawner. Okay. <gasps> oh. Wow. Oh, look, it's a baby creeper. I think we should just continue along with getting some quests done. And we've made it to the surface. Okay, I've finally found out where we can get the remaining four eyes. One we can get from the boss Frost Maw, another from another bastion, another from a cleric, and another from getting a witch eye. So let us get to work. First, let's return home. And hello, Noopy. Here's the trading contract for the cleric guild. So if we head into a village now and we find a cleric, finally, hello. Oh, hey, yes, I can trade with him. Okay, emerald for redstone. Let's trade with him for a bit. Get his trade to upgrade. We'll slowly buy one at a time. There we go. That's an upgrade. Let's see what we get. So there we have some more stuff. Okay, let's buy some lapis from him. And still not what we need, unfortunately. Okay, ender pearls. There we go. What else are you going to give us here? Ethan. Oh, this is another one. He has a quest. Extermination contracts. New type of evil manifesting. These half man, half beasts are called silver beasts. You can find them wandering around at night. Hey, who was I just trading with? Hey, come back. Master. Oh, there we go. Evil eye. Let's go. Finally, I see another eye. We need a rabbit's foot for it. Oh, no. Okay, I hope that I have a rabbit's foot. And it doesn't seem like I have any rabbit's feet. Well, that means that I'm going to need to hunt a rabbit, unfortunately. All those rabbits that I spared, I'm kind of regretting it now because, uh, well, now I need to spend a good amount of time searching for rabbits. Oh, rabbit. So it would be good if we can defeat it with my looting axe. And definitely not in F5 mode. Oh. Oh. Rabbit hide. No rabbit's foot, though. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh, rabbits. Where are you? There you are. Who wants a hug? Dang it. No rabbit's foot. Oh, I got a lucky rabbit's foot. But this isn't a regular rabbit's foot. I'm definitely not enjoying this hunting spree. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's a lucky rabbit's foot too. Hey, will you take a lucky rabbit's foot? Oh, no, you won't, will you? Oh, well, my goodness. Having trouble finding rabbits the second time around. So I spent a whole day of looking around the same area that I found a few rabbits in before, and I have not found anything. Oh, a rabbit. Come on. Hyper rabbit foot, guys? I just want a normal rabbit foot. Uh, <laughs> no. I'm not sure if I'm just defeating the wrong rabbits or what. Whoa, look at that. Found a uh, snowy village, I guess. Hello. Is there anybody inside here? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna stop just searching for rabbits because that's not going anywhere. So instead, I'm gonna start looking through these buildings. And I remember that the fisherman's cabin did in fact have rabbit's feet. Ooh, private. Hello. Oh, hi. Jack the Cold. It's a boss? Hey, man. Jack the Cold won't be messing with us anymore. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, you worth the cold. Oh, I'm blocking his shots too. Oh, look at that. Nice try. Woo. Interesting. What an interesting little town. Oh, hi, folks. So there are some normal villagers here. Hello, guys. Let's check out what's in this huge structure. Sing brewing stand. What do we got up here? Whoa, big library. And it looks like a bunch of either amber or honey blocks up there. And let's take the opportunity of being in a snowy biome to look for a frost maw. Oh, wait, hold on. Look at this. <gasps> look at this. They're all gathered around. It's like a Viking villager statue. Oh, it's an orc or an ogre. Take this fella out. Got him. Ogre's liver. The remains of an ogre. Huh, what is this? Wisteria. Oh, Wisteria Nivis. Even in the midst of an icy wasteland, a wonderful life can appear, can be placed. Well, I'll grab a couple of those just because they seem to be... A rather unique type of tree. 
And we got a maze here. I'm wondering if there are any rabbit's feet in these chests. Ooh, pirate pouch. Forgotten pirate clothes that smell like rotten oysters? Oh, boots of the Twilight Grotto. I see a pirate ship over there. Check it out. I wonder if this is one of the typical pirate ships or if it's any different. Take him out. Get ya. Anything in here? Some diamonds. Barrels. Nothing special either. Here's another pirate ship. This one seems to be a little bit different. How to take these fellas out. And what do we got? Another pirate pouch. Let me see if there's anything down in here. Ah, oh, I see a Vindicator. You gotta be careful. Fighting the, these guys in melee range. Oh, that leads to that. You're getting one shot. Treasure pouch. What did I get? Leggings of the Dead Sea. Interesting. Spine fishes. Nothing else here. Got some locked up villagers, it looks like. And more loot in here. Not bad. What a loot pile. Sea stew. The power of the sea in your stomach. Fury 3 strength. Ooh, what is that? Intricate dagger of greed. Sea wolf weapon. Special properties. Theft. Attack villagers and pillagers. Drop emeralds. Huh. Okay, well, let's keep that. Now let's let these fellas out. Oh, and apparently I've started a raid. I'll let you out as well. And you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a bad situation. Hey, man. So I'm just going to shoot you. Shellhorn. Ca summons Captain Cornelia. Can be used near water in an ice maze. Whoa. It's a boss. Okay. Let's loot some more of this pirate pouch. Oh, boy. Okay. And what do we got in here? A bunch of emeralds. Oh, and look at this. A bunch of special books. And look at that. Mob enchant book. You can in make a mob enchant with an infinite duration. And that's interesting. I wonder if I can enchant Noopy with this. That would be nice. Oh, here's a fella. You can try the dagger on him. Oh, every time I attack, he drops an emerald. Oh, you just use this to quickly get an emerald and then you stop attacking. Interesting. Very cool. What an interesting weapon then. Wow. Now I think it's time to fight uh, this captain. And let's summon Captain Cornelia. Uh, I think this should work. Oh yeah. It used the item. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's pulling a polar bear. What's going on? What's going on? What's happening right now? I'm using my enchanted golden apple. Ah, ah, ah. I'm not, I, what? I can't even shoot at it. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. This boss is insane. Oh my god. Okay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not fighting this boss. There's no way. There is no way. I can defeat Captain Cornelia right now. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> Holy moly. No, I'm not ready at all. I'm gonna set a waystone here. Captain Cornelia. And maybe when we get some way stronger gear, we can return. But not, not now. Wow, that was crazy. Can I put this mob enchant book on Noopy? Wait, it, Noopy's enchanted now. Oh, look at Noopy. Noopy's powerful now. I hope, I hope it worked. I don't know. Here you go, Noopy. My Noopy's enchanted now. Oh, I just want to get this rabbit's foot and then we'll we'll worry about other things. That boss fight has shook me up a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. I just want to find a rabbit. Oh, that's a big rabbit. Rabbit's foot. <laughs> yes. Oh, look, there's a bunch of big rabbits here. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me that these guys are the ones that dropped the rabbit's foot. Oh my goodness. That is so unfortunate. It took me just until now to find the rabbit's foot. Okay, I'm happy that I did though. So we need to go back to that village and trade with you, sir. Here we go. And here we go. Boom. Evil eye. Nice. We have done it. Now that we have gotten this eye, the evil eye, we have multiple options of which eye we want to get next. I think trying to get Frostmaw's eye is the next best eye to look for because along the way, if we can find witches, we can get the witch eye as well. And I'm going to need to repair our gear. We can teleport back to Captain Cornelia, and I'm not going to actually approach it, but we can look for Frostmaw. Whoa, look at this. That looks crazy. What's over here? Interesting. Loot barrels. 
Let me glide down here real quickly. Let's see if there's anything here at all. It doesn't it doesn't seem like there is. I'm gonna let uh, let go of this dream of finding the frost moth for a bit, and I have a new plan. But we can only actually do that plan once we find a waystone back home. Penguins. Hello. Hey guys. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Look at him. They're having a real good time. Oh, waystone. Nice. Okay, we can return home. Castle. Perfect. Okay, here's the thing. I want to get full netherite gear. So that is what we are going to do. These two epic pieces of diamond armor are easily going to be upgradable and worth it. However, these two are quite basic. I'm just going to have to do with what I've got. And I don't need much more than that, really. I also have my charm of fire resistance, which will help me out. And it's time to get to work. Oh my goodness. I'm going to mine downwards to Y level 15. And let us get to work. <laughs> and there we go. Already a piece of ancient debris. It's, uh, it's been barely any time. That, my friends, is a good, good sign. And there's another pocket of ancient debris. It's a good thing that I have an anvil. And diamonds. Boom. And another one. That's our fifth vein, I believe. We are at 17 ancient debris, so we already have enough to make a full set of gear. And I think 19 is a good amount of ancient debris to leave it off at. I would like to quickly head upwards. Ooh, look at how fast we can break blocks. How insane is that? And we're already out. Oop, hi. Oh my goodness. I'm stuck. What? What? What is that? That's crazy. That's insane. Take that. Just die, man. Wow. Oh, it's one of these fellas. Is that what was damaging me? Was it you? Boom. Four netherite ingots. Okay, and now we can combine this onto our gear. And I believe we might be able to switch the appearance of netherite armor. Ah, look at this. Wheat to make it a straw hat. Black banner to make it a hunter hat. Interesting. Whoa, there's a lot of different looks you can pick. Let's try this banished night scarf. Let's see what our helmet can look like. There we go. Ooh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> a bit strange, but... Maybe better than the typical. Let's see what we can do with the rest of the armor pieces here. Ooh, that is looking nice. Woo. Uh, now if I want to transform this. Boom. 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 That's the full set. And you know what? I'm digging it. So now we have a full set of this bandaged knight armor, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And with that, I feel a lot more powerful for sure. Protection 3. Okay. In addition to that, we also have a bunch of enchanted books. Let's get Protection 3 on those boots and also put Feather Falling 4 on them. Now, I think with this gear, what we can do is head into the nether and try to find the second eye that comes from there. I believe this one is called the Cursed Eye. Yes, this is the one. The bastions are very, very, very dangerous, so we're going to have to approach this carefully. Here, we got a bastion, and I'm going to be very careful with these fellas. Hello. Yep, okay. What do we got going on here? A few things. A pretty decent iron sword, it looks like. Let's check that out in a moment here. Let's see how we do in melee. Not very well, as we can see. I will shoot you from here. Soul speed. Ooh, an epic pickaxe. This looks pretty good, actually. Better than our normal pickaxe. There's another chest. Nothing. And take you out, sir. Oh, you as well. Both of you. And we are going to roll right on out. Yes, we are, because we are taking way too much damage. Get away. You too. Got him. And nothing in here, it looks like. Take you out. Ooh, that was a bit close. And we're going to get you as well. And you, that's right. Thank you. Nothing here. Another chest. And nope, no luck. Oh, boy. Let's continue onwards. The great thing about exploring in the nether right now is that uh, this is a good way of getting experience, extra loot, both of which will help us in fighting the frost mall when we come across it. Oh, boy. What is that? What's doing that? What is doing this? There's like some kind of a storm in the nether, I guess. It's a bit, a uh, bit worrying, to be honest. Here is another bastion. Oh boy, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, ancient debris. I almost missed that from this chest. Okay, I haven't found anything here, and I think we should move on. 
Look at these upside down trees. Inverted forest. That's very cool. <laughs> Here's another bastion. You hey guys, don't mind me. Oh, you are definitely minding me, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is very difficult. I need to find a way not to take so much damage. That would be truly fantastic. Or I could just find the eye, which would also be amazing. Well, uh, you guys better back off. Maybe we can get some luck in the middle chest. Oh! We actually did get luck. Cursed eye. Woo! Nice! <laughs> Let's go. And I'll pick up these diamond leggings just because you never know when you need some more diamond gear. Yes, that's amazing news. Okay, that means that we are done in the nether for now. Not permanently because uh, in the future there will definitely be some more stuff we can do here, including some new bosses. And back home we go. So that's 10 of the eyes. Now we need the eye from the frost maw and either an undead or witch eye. And I think the witch eye might be easier to get. So it's time to go on a search for frost maw. I'll just teleport out randomly. It doesn't matter too much where we go. It's time to go adventuring. What can I say? And it looks like I found another woodland mansion on my journeys here, which I will gladly check out. What, I'm down to three totems I'm undying? Not that good, not that good, especially with some of the stronger bosses in this mod pack. Oh, and we already have a evoker. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, alrighty. We're gonna have to avoid attacks. Okay, good. Careful. Get this fella here. Come here. Banish all the vexes, and you guys are done without them. Oh, and my helmet is almost broken. Looks like we've gotten a decent amount of the evokers inside of there, so that's nice. I'll stack up those new totems of undying, and let's continue along. Oh, here's another one of the skeleton statues. These, these things are insane. Look at that. Now, I don't believe there's actually anything up on top of these. Hmm, just a bunch of little hole sections here. Well, let's see if I can find anything on the inside. Mm, nope, just a bunch of calcite it looks like, so very cool statue, but uh, we shall move on. And what do we got in this little house right here? Oh, well, we have a wandering trader on top of it is what we do have, and he has a desert labyrinth map, and actually, I have a compass with me because I looted it somewhere, and I kept it with me just in case I had a chance to get this again, so let's get that. And it seems like it's pretty far, but uh, we have time. You sneak attack on these fellas here. Oh yeah. Boom, special ability. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, my takeoff didn't work. Okay. I find myself in a pretty good spot to shoot at them where it seems like they can't shoot at me at all. Nothing special in here, it seems. Take you all out. And my helmet's close to breaking. I reckon we should head back and it would be a very good idea for me to try to get mending. I need to get a trading contract for librarians. I think for now, I'll just put a temporary helmet on. There we go. I'll just put this on. Let's try to figure out this librarian thing. Hello, this guy wants a bow, ebony. Okay, well, I'll get you a bow. There we go. And you can hunt again. Yes. Oh, and you gave me a rabbit's foot. It would have been nice to have gotten that earlier. I don't know where we can find an, a librarian at. I don't know. I'm not finding any librarians. I feel like we should just keep going with what we're doing. I just want to find Frostmaw and take him on. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's aggressive. Uh-oh. What do I see in front of me? Oh boy. I'm just... I'm just getting in trouble, aren't I? There is definitely a boss in here, isn't there? I see something on the floor over there. Oh, and a lot of loot. And what do we have over here? Swamp Jaw. This is what lets you spawn some bosses. And I guess this arena is where it's kind of letting you spawn them. Now, I figure we could actually try to do one of these boss fights here. But I'm also curious as to what is down here. Battle. Oh, it's a battle tower that uh, spawned here. That's funny. Summoning altar. Interesting. So it takes your items. Okay. Let me take this book and let's try to make the nameless king. Let's see. What do we need? Four emeralds. We need two gold ingots, a golden ransor, which will require a few different things. Boom. Leather strip. Pelt. Short sword. 
And boom, golden rancor. We also need the goblin crown. There we go. That is all the items we need. And also something I've been thinking of is that we can get more hearts by using our essences and also spirit orbs. We got one extra heart container. I need one more essence for another one. And here I can get two more hearts. Boom. So we're up to six extra permanent hearts, which is uh, that's actually really nice. So let's do this. Put that in that in and that in oh oh i shift right clicked it and i think it worked oh yes it did oh hello oh my goodness hold on let's use our potions that might be the coolest boss we've fought so far let me activate everything ow whoa whoa ow oh is this guy shooting at him with me hey i'm all for it let's get some hits on him Oh, he does a lot of damage. Golden apple. Get some hits. Oh, boy. Get some good hits on him. And let's roll away. Woo! Nice. That was a good dodge. Oh, my God. What is he doing? Get some hits on him from behind. And roll. Golden appling. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm trying to roll. Oh. Oh, I should probably roll away from that. I should probably get away from whatever he's doing right now. Oh, almost got him. Come on. Oh, yeah. We got him. Oh, hold on. He dropped a couple of cool items. That was a very, very cool boss. <laughs> wow, we got him. Awesome. Look at this. Glacial Dragon Slayer Spear of the Sun. It attacks very quickly. Oh, that's it. Its ultimate ability is like a glide. Oh, look at that. Wait, can we do that into the air? Kind of. Wow, that's really cool. That's a silver beast. This is a good time to test our weapon out. Okay, the damage is okay. Nothing incredible. Let's see what our sword is like. Our sword is actually pretty similar, even though it has sharpness four on it. Okay, now next, let's try to fight Swamp Jaw. Boom, 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 and, and boom. Water bucket. Oh, there we go. The altar hums pleasantly. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, this one's a lot easier. Look at that. It's health is... Yep, and it's gone. Well, that was a fast fight. You can make a few things with that. Ooh, including a really nice caged heart item, which I would like to make. Let's craft that. Bam, caged heart reduces damage that exceeds one fourth of max health. And I should just be able to put that on my body slot like so. Let's try summoning some of these other bosses to see what items they give. So we have the bell ringer, which is gonna require four gold ingots, a gold block, and two soul sand. Boom, that's another boss summoned. Bell ringer, there he is. Oh boy. Try to get some swings on at him. Oh boy. Very hard to swing at this guy, but I can actually block some of his attacks with my sword, which is really useful. Oh, jump over that. And, oh, 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 oh. Got him. What did he drop? Banto Plaza. What does this do? Spectre's Grasp. Increases your reach distance. Boom. And Spectre's Grasp. I should be able to just equip that. And also create the Spectre's Eye. Boom. Now there is one more boss that we haven't summoned. And that is Dame Fortuna. And shift right click with the guest here. There we go. That should start this fight. Yeah, there he is. The Dame Fortuna. Woo. Getting some good melee hits on it kind of similar to the bell ringer oh and look at that my item reveals it so it's glowing let me see if i can block its attacks oh yeah i can turns out that uh, using a melee weapon is actually beneficial because you block a lot of ranged attacks like a lot oh but you should also get away when that happens oh boy yeah we're gonna move and let's take some shots oh boy got him there we go. Fortune's favor. Slicer's dice. Some attacks do more damage. Boom. And we will, oops. We will equip that. Well, I don't know how I just teleported, but I did. Uh, okay. Now I'm kind of stuck here because I have no more levels. I guess let's just travel in a random direction. And I searched for Frostmaw for a while after that, but three days passed and still no luck. 
I think our priority should become our gear and finding a way to not have it break. I guess we should try to find a librarian. I looked around a couple different villages to see if I could find any trace of any librarians, but I had no luck up until one villager got converted. Oh, <gasps> he became a village. Oh, and he has a quest. Nice. Okay, so it looks like he's wanting me to go to Everdawn or Everbright. Dusk leaves, maple leaves, and starlight leaves. That's a lot of different leaves, but yes, I can do that. It's time to head into the new dimensions because that is gonna hopefully let us get mending books. Before heading into the new dimensions, I found another pillager castle near me and decided I would head in to get some totems of undying and also get the mending book that was in the uh, hidden little evoker room. And while it was pretty dangerous I got out safely. I put the mending book I got on my chest plate and now I was ready to start making my way into the ever bright and ever dawn dimensions. And I believe the best way to get started is to find a guy called a gatekeeper which I've definitely ran into before but you're gonna need to find him again. I'm, I hope this search doesn't take too long. And the gatekeeper could be in any of these types of houses that we see so we need to check them out. This guy is just a recruit though. Ooh, and here we have a new type of ship that I have not seen before. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's even an evoker here. Hold on. I need to try to take... Ooh. Yeah. There, that's the evoker. I'm gonna have to jump down. Oh my goodness. This, this failed. Oh my goodness. I can't hit him. Oh no. Oh, I cannot go down there. We're gonna have to do it very slowly. Goodbye. Here we do have a spawner. Maybe I can try to take it out real quick. I did, I did. You're enchanted. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, we don't like to see that. Oh, my ultimate just took them all out. Okay, take all you guys out. I'm gonna have to get off for a moment. And my gear is kind of in the process of breaking. I'll probably have to take this helmet off. This could be worth it though, because I know I did see an eye that had some writing about pirates. So it is possible that the ship will have one of the eyes that we need. Oh my goodness, man. This is very frustrating. And here we go. Here is our friend, the evoker. Oh boy. Pick you out. Looks like we're good so far. Oh, a new helmet. That's good. Eye? Oh, no, but a bunch of iron. One more chance for an eye to be here. No. But the eye that I was thinking of was the black eye. What are you? Hi. Hello. Hey. Hey there. Hey, man. You like, yo, yo, how you, how you doing? Hey, let's get you out of the water there. Oh, you're going right back in. Okay. Are you trying to kill that zombie? Oh, I'll, I'll kill him for you, man. You see the things I do? This is an interesting fella here. Now, I wonder if, if killing him can give us something, to be honest. Um, oh, there's a couple of them. Seems like this is like their little tribal area. I'm very curious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You didn't drop anything. I'll leave you guys alone. You guys are too nice. Oh, man, that's a dragon. Not exactly what I'd like to see right now. So much so that I'm just gonna forget that it exists, you know? Have you guys ever done that? You guys ever seen a dragon and just forgotten it exists? That's what I'm doing right now. Here we got snow, which is a plus, I guess. I ended up running into another pirate ship, which I decided I would scout to see if there was an eye here. But just like with the previous ship, I didn't have any luck, so I moved on. Ooh, wandering trader, hello. He does have a map to a pillager fortress, though, which is pretty good because that can give me another mending book. Give him that and that pillager fortress map. I have to go southwest. Oh, we got some movement. Oh, and look at that. Along the way, I'm pretty sure this is a gatekeeper's house, which is quite perfect. Hello. Now, he doesn't seem to be interested in me whatsoever. Moonstone shards. What's in here? Barrel, nothing. I don't know. I see there's some action going on over here. And take these fellas out. That's for you fellas. Sleep off the night. Hello. 
Oh, there we go. Now, now he docks. And blue journal. Perfect. Boom, I used it. And check your inventory tab. Ooh, there we go. We have the journal. I didn't realize that the gatekeeper had the portal to the Everdon dimension at his house. Don't worry, though. I do figure things out soon. I also somehow started a raid, so I left to continue the search for the Pillager Castle. I made it to the Pillager Castle, uh, but it ended up being one that I had already looted before. So that was kind of a bummer, but at least we did find the gatekeeper while searching for it. I ended up getting confused by the quest tree where I thought that it could create the portals for you. I quickly found out that that was not the case though. And with that, I returned to the gatekeeper's home where I had a realization. Oh, wait, um, th there's a portal right here. I just didn't realize it. <laughs> Boom, see you later. Ooh, Everdawn dimension. Okay, here we are in Everdawn. Tools are less effective in this dimension or they're supposed to be. It looks like my... <laughs> <laughs> Pickaxe is mowing things down. I guess because it has diamond effectiveness against all blocks. Let's collect these leaves. That's the maple leaves done. And this is a very cool looking village. I did not expect to find one here. Are these guys aggressive? Hi. Oh, you guys are friendly, huh? You want pets? Pets? Golden apples? No, they don't want anything from me, I guess. What is that? Is this thing mean? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it's mean. I can tell. Go away. Holy moly. It has a lot of health. I guess because my bow isn't as effective here. Hello, guys. Bag of spoils. Ooh, bug guts. Whoa, whoa, why, do, why, why would I want bug guts? Hi. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, guys. Oh, and we got a weird spider coming after me. Let's see how my sentinel sword does. Ooh, pretty well. Okay, now we got one type of leaf. We need more. What is this tree? Dusk. These biomes are very, very beautiful, I have to say. Looks like we got an interesting tower here. The Wizard's Tower. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's definitely a boss in here, but I honestly feel kind of prepared to take on any boss because our Sentinel Sword is still very powerful in this dimension. Let's see what's going on in here. Hi. Got a Pillager. Yeah, we still do pretty decent damage, I'd say. Oh, goodness gracious. We also take a lot of damage, actually. Because our armor isn't as good here. I'm realizing that just now. There's a key. And here are some villagers that we could free. Oh, but I can't even break it. Another key. There's a witch. Maybe this one will give me the... Item that I needed. Nope. Key. That's the third one. It's in the brewing sand. Now, I don't know how many keys I need. Oh, you need four keys. Okay. Oh, there we go. Ooh, and we got some music discs here. Okay, let's get some Totems of Undying on us here. And we'll have the golden apples ready. Alchemist. Here we go. Here we go, Alchemist. What you got, pal? Oh, okay. He's got some, some stuff going for him, for sure. Oh boy, I don't see anything. Now, it seemed that my Bone Splitter Axe actually does a lot of damage in this dimension still. Possibly even more so than the Sentinel Sword. I think so. Oh boy. Okay, it's pretty difficult to get to this guy, but we're doing okay on health so far. Oh boy. It is hard to get hits on him. Can I shoot arrows at this guy? No, I guess I can't. Oh boy, now I'm on fire. Okay, hold on. Come on. Oh no, dodge that. That's good. Getting a little bit better. Get a few hits on him. Sax is actually coming in handy right now. Come here. This guy is so hard to catch. Okay, a whole lot more things are going on right now. Okay, he's close. Come on. Ah, he's so hard to hit. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. Come on, like one more hit. Hey, how does how is he still alive? Come here. Get a few hits. Oh my goodness, this guy is crazy. There we go. Got him. Whew. Alchemist loot bag. Let's open that up. Whoa, hold on. That gave us a few different things. Some music discs. And grants invisibility while sneaking with reduced smoke. Interesting. Dusk arc. Huh. But I guess that gets equipped there. That's a bit strange. So I guess there's less particles, but there's still some. Okay. Iron forged spike shield. That's interesting. I guess it attacks enemies as they attack you. And alchemist trophy. That's nice. Okay, cool little boss fight. Let's head on out. Hello. <laughs> 
And I think that might be all for the Ever Dawn dimension. I think we need to get the other tree variant in the Ever Bright dimension, but I'm not sure exactly how we're going to get in there. And we're back at the portal. Now, let me talk to this fella. It seems like he doesn't have the materials for the other portal. All right, let's go on a hunt for another gatekeeper building, and hopefully we can find something. Oh, we got a big structure over here. I'm not very gear ready to take on a huge structure like this, but I can try to check it out a little bit. Find the Shiraz Palace. Whoa, very cool. Look at this place. It's a little garden. Let's head down here. Oh, yeah, here we got the mobs. And they are no joke. I am going to place a waystone here. And we shall return later. Barocco the Sun Chief. I don't have very fond memories of you, my friend. Now, for me, this is a bad time to take on this fight, I'd say. I don't have any armor, but I'm apparently taking them out quite quickly. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, maybe I'm not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Let's, uh, we might have to get out of here. Hold on. Let me try to defeat these guys. I'm trying to take all these guys out that are helping him heal real quick. Oh, boy. Okay, he's not doing that much damage. I think I can take him out. Yes. <laughs> I have defeated you. And we got his helmet, which is actually pretty cool. I was not expecting to have this boss fight, but we did. Very nice. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Huge snake, python. Oh, got it. Well, I found a waystone, so I can head home and re-gear myself up because uh, we're not doing too well. Definitely need a new helmet to equip. That'll do the trick for now. And we also need leggings. These should do the trick for now. Boom, perfect. Let's continue with our travels. Oh, it's a witch. Hello. Drop a witch pupil, please. I don't think, I don't think. Oh my God, it's a werewolf. Oh my God. Uh, take that. Oh, did I, did I already get it? Oh, that was fast. We kind of demolished that werewolf if I do say so myself. Oh, look at that thing. I hate those things. You know what? I'm going to have to kill this thing just because of how creepy it is. Why do you exist, fella? Oh my goodness. Go away. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Another gatekeeper. And it's possible that he will have the portal that we need. Hello. Um, nothing really in there. Let's head upwards. Oh, hi. Let's head up here. And there we go. Nice. Okay, that's really great news because uh, we could have just gotten the same portal again, but we did in fact get the ever bright one. So let's head on in. And we spawn in a deep peaking ocean apparently. Whoa, this looks cool. Holy moly. This looks very cool. It's insane. Look at those jellyfish. Midnight sand. Look at that. I believe the starlet might be the exact leaves that we need. So that is perfect. I'll set this waystone and name it Ever Bright. And oh, I don't have enough levels to head home. Now these guys look friendly. I don't really want to kill them. Uh, are these guys friendly? If they're friendly, I'm not fighting them. That's my rule. Okay, you're all friendly, huh? What is this? Is this friendly? No, it's not. You are not friendly, are ya? Oh yeah, gotcha. Oh, it summoned something. It's like a little soul. My arrows bounced off it. Oh, there we go. Star flare. Here's another one of these things. Oh, there's a few of these things. Oh, and this one's enchanted. Oh, that's a bit dangerous. Oh boy. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting this. Seems like we found a village. Hello. Interesting looking fella. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this guy. Oh, we got a huge structure here. Where's the entrance to this place? Oh. It looks like I'm not able to progress here yet. Oh, I gotta get out of here. That's not good. I definitely shouldn't go there. And we got a tower over here. I'm guessing this is gonna have a different boss. Let us see what we can do. I like the theme here. I like it a lot. Oh, and this guy's trying to kill the villagers. Oh my God. Holy moly. 
Holy moly, holy moly. My gear isn't even broken. Oh my goodness. Okay. You know what? Never mind. I'm not coming here. No, thank you. Yeah, let's head out of here. I have it marked down for later. So with that, we have all of the leaves needed. I then got lost for a day. I couldn't find the village in which I had taken the quest, but eventually I found it. And you still have the quest. Perfect. So he wanted starlet, maple. Oh, I need dusk. Here we go. Dusk. Boom. Quest completed. And there we go. Librarian trade scroll. Thank you. Perfect. We just need to sign this. And there's a lectern right here. Boom. And now, now we have to try to get a mending book, which is, uh, that's a whole process. So ideally, we would like to trap this fellow. Give you a nice little push. Lock you in. Perfect. Perfect. I hadn't actually traded with this librarian at all, but because he gave me a quest, he was now locked into that same trade for some reason. I ended up trading with him all the way until he was a master rank, thinking that I couldn't reset trades and I would just have to deal with luck like that, but um, that didn't work. I tried to trade with a new villager, and this one also ended up having a quest, which messed up with my trading again. Finally, though, with a new villager, I had some luck. Oh, oh, it's working. It worked, it worked. Amazing. What do you got, sharpness three? No. Nice, okay. Okay, let's let's get this done. I need mending real bad, okay? I'm not gonna stop at anything. Returning board? Jimmy? I don't need returning board, okay? Come on, Jimmy. You can do better than that, come on. Stable footing, Jim Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, me and you having a good old time. Isn't this nice? Really is amazing. Glad we can spend time like this, Jimmy. Really glad. Then you got a nice nose. Yeah, anyways, I'd really appreciate a mending mending book, Jimmy. Curse of vanishing. Jimmy, Jimmy, what why Jimmy, why are you giving me this, Jimmy? Come on. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, there we go. Mending! Woo! Wow, that took a while. Let me lock that in right away, sir. I love this tray, Jimmy. You're doing wonderful. More. Yes, Jimmy. Yes, 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 yes. More. Jimmy has given me quite a good amount of mending books. I don't think I'll need more mending books for a while. Jimmy, you're the best. Look, I'm just gonna put a port here because I'm too lazy to do anything else. And we're just gonna call this teleport Jimmy. Um, and basically we're gonna leave him in that hole. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Anyways, I'm very happy with, <laughs> with how many mending books we just got. Okay, we can already put mending on our leggings, which is great. And for the helmet, it looks like we're gonna need to get 33 levels, which is pretty insane. Let's go to the nether to mine for levels real quick. And here we go. Oh, I see a mini boss in the distance. It's a good chance to get some more epic gear. But first, let's clear out whatever these things are. And let's bow this fella down here. He's standing still, which is good for us. How are you in combat? Melee combat. Not too bad. We can try to take this fella out real quick. Roll away. Golden apple real quick. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're getting ganged up on. But we're good to go, and you're gone. Okay. What did he drop? Nothing? Looks like he didn't drop anything. And there we go, 33 levels. And with these levels, I should be able to put mending on our helmet. Now we have a full set of mending netherite gear. That is amazing. Now, the storage situation is not going very well. To fix that, what we can do is use a thing called cloud storage. And I'm gonna need to learn about how to set this up. Now, first of all, we're gonna need a balloon piece and a cloud block, which I believe we might have gotten. Now, the way we can find the pieces we need is by looking up in the sky, I believe. Aha, there we go. <laughs> it hasn't even been a minute. And there is something to do with the cloud storage stuff. So let's try to fly on over there and we make our way up here. Oh, oh boy. Hey, stop blowing on me. Hey, 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 goodness gracious. Okay, cloud blocks. And what? Oh, oh boy. What? Oh, cloud chest. Oh, balloons. I believe we will need all of this stuff. Cotton candy. I'll just take that because that's fun. And side of cloud blocks. Those are good. 
Oh, and an elite one spawned. Okay. This is a good time to leave, I think. We got what we needed. Let's make this book. Boom. Let's see how I can create the storage. Essentially, the way that cloud chests work is you send up chests into the sky with a balloon attached and then use the same color on a cloud chest. And that is where the inventory is stored, which you can expand by sending more and more chests into the sky. In order to create a fairly large storage, I needed more balloons. So I decided I would head out in search of them. Here we have another cloud storage. Here we are. Oh boy, another chest. Oh, we got a lot of stuff here. Balloon arrows. Oh boy. And we are getting knocked off. I'm going to take this chance to check out what is on this hot air balloon right here. We got some balloon pieces, it looks like. Let's get on top of here. And it seems like if I just shift, they can't actually knock me off, which is good. And let's see if we can uh, use our looting axe on some of these guys, because that'll give us a lot more balloon pieces. After farming up the cloud mobs for a bit, I had 30 balloon pieces, and I decided that that was good enough to begin our storage, so I headed back home. So let's make these balloons. Boom, seven red ones. Now we can put a red balloon there, then place these regular chests and make them float up. And uh, we'll just wait on those to activate. Oh, there we go, it worked. <laughs> Let me see how much I can already transfer into here. Boom. There's another inventory full, and it just keeps going. Boom, that is really useful. So I'm glad that we have this done. So I guess it's back to searching for frost ma for us, which uh, it hasn't been the best experience, but we already have 10 of our eyes. We need two more, and we are so close to being able to enter into the end. Let's, uh, let's go, I guess. I'm curious how well we can do in this pink mansion with the new gear we have. It is nice knowing that my gear just won't break anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay, never mind. Nope, I'm out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay, nope, never mind. Nope, Pink Mansion is a bad idea. Yeah, we're not, not ready for that. Let's just continue along. Let's head into this icy biome and see if we can find anything here. Here we have another pirate ship, which I haven't had any luck with getting an eye from, but I still feel like it's possible. Let's, uh, let's try to sneak on in here and take these fellas out. Oh boy, taking some damage. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Mm, do we have anything? A bunch of gold. And there's a captain here, I believe. Oh boy. Yep, that's the captain, all right. More ores. And I've just done some research into the black eye. It seems like this can be found in hidden treasures. So if I can find a hidden treasure map from a shipwreck, that would give us a chance of finding that eye, which would be great because we're not having any luck with Frostmaw or the witch eye. Now, I do have a feeling that Frostmaw could be in this biome. It's a pretty luscious snow biome with a lot of empty space. Oh, and I hear a dragon, but I don't see it. Oh, it's a, it's an ice dragon. Oh my god. Let's go, pal. Let's go. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I wonder if it can, like, freeze me to death or something. Oh boy. Okay. Spam shots. I wonder if uh, fire does extra damage to it or something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it fell. This is good. This is very good. Oh, let's roll away. Oh, and that's a horde of rats. That's not good. No, 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 no. Maybe we should go in for a melee hit. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is working way better. Oh, I'm getting in there. Woo! I got it. Nice. This one turns into an ice dragon essence. We can make ice dragon armor with it. Taking damage on low health sometimes trigger freezing effect. Interesting. Now that was cool. If we can find frost maw, that would very much complete this little trip here. Oh, <gasps> frost maw. Oh yes. I knew I had a feeling. Yes. Oh my goodness. Where did he spawn? <laughs> finally, I've been searching for so long. And finally, oh, there it is. Frost Maw. Now, it would be wise to sleep off the night before approaching him, just because there are so many monsters spawning. Let's eat this up and head in. Hey, you. Yeah. Oh, why are there mobs here? Hold on. Hold on. Get out of the... Oh, boy. Why am I frozen? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, another mob just froze me. Oh, it's one of... Oh, my goodness. What is happening? Okay, we got to remove that thing. Hold on. That thing's gonna... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I messed up. 
Okay, wait, hold on. We gotta defeat this guy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm frozen. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Okay, golden apple. Okay, takeoff is very helpful. Oh, and I'm frozen in midair. Oh no. Okay. Come on. Get some good hits on him. Oh yeah. And can I shoot him? No. Oh wow. Wow. Ultimate ability? Ooh. What if I hunt him down while he's doing that? Oh no, he's dodging me. Uh oh, he looks like he's gonna try to hit me. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Woo! We got him, rude awakening. Oh, and we got his eye. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, we got the cold eye. <laughs> that means we only need one more eye before we can finally approach the end. Now, I'd actually like to find an ocean at this point because that will lead us to finding a shipwreck and hopefully then that will lead us to getting the last eye. Let's store that away. And I got this ice crystal, which can freeze enemies, I believe. I'll keep it in hand for a bit. And maybe we can find use. Okay, here we go. We got some ocean. So finding a shipwreck seems to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Whoa, look at this, a serpent statue. What is here? Oh, a bunch of serpents. What do you know? Right, I feel bad just killing him, so I'll leave him alive. Is there anything at the top of this? Mm, does not seem like it. Okay. Ooh, look at this. You have a desert pyramid here. Huh. Well, hello there. What is going on? Oops, oops. I did not mean to fall down here. Whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> it's like a little pharaoh skeleton. Cobalt skull. Interesting. What's the loot here? Nothing incredible. Now, is there a floor going lower down is my question. Doesn't seem like... Oh, well, there's an emerald block there. Doesn't seem like there is much else here, though. Oh, and a little building. Two buildings here. Wow, it's nice to finally be in a desert biome. I've been looking for one for so long. I think this is a building for a recruit. Oh, yep, yeah, there we have the recruit. Two cooked cod and three carrots. You know, these guys, they have the weirdest requests. Like, I'm not carrying around two cooked cod and three carrots all right but hey i appreciate appreciated them wanting to, to, to help out let's see what's in this structure over here let's see if there's anything on the very top of this tower no okay is there anything here what's going on whoa okay we're going into the underground here let's go down these stairs i adventured through this dungeon and it was pretty much all the same as the other ones we had explored in the past i was reunited with the imps which i did not miss at all uh, but they were a lot easier for me to defeat now than in the beginning and uh, I also got some good pieces of diamond gear here. I soon headed back up to the surface and continued with my quest of finding a sunken ship. Uh, we got an orc encampment in the sand here and it looks like we got, oh my goodness. I thought that there was a village here, but it looks like it's some kind of a special temple. Also, there's a quest over here. Here, there is a house infested by those sick, deluded hunters. Armorer's map. A map given by the armorer to retrieve his necklace. He wants a pendant. They usually hide valuables under tables. Okay, good to know. I want to see what's going on here. I thought that this was a temple, but it looks like it is just another village here in the desert. Very cool. And something over there, which we can check out. Huh. What is this? It doesn't seem like there's any direct entrance. I'm guessing this might be the closest thing to it. This looks like it's, uh, looks like it's trapped. They don't look like they're trapped. But let me check. Okay, I've blocked up all the lava. So, oh, that one just has blocks and that one just has gold. Oh, there's more chests above. Interesting. Strange little little temple here. Let's continue along. Ooh, and we got this uh, palace. Is this the one that we found earlier? It might have been. I'm definitely in more of a state to where I could actually adventure through here. I'm not sure as to how powerful these guys are. Oh, okay. They're fighting each other, which honestly, it's pretty convenient. What do we got in here? A little aquatic room? Oh boy, we got more of them ganging up on us. Let me try to freeze them. Oh boy. Okay, they're doing damage. They also like to hit each other, which is pretty funny. Oh no, okay, more spawn. Okay, you know what? There's no loot here. So let me just continue along. Uh, nothing in here, it seems. Oh, here's our first chest. Ooh, whoa, okay. Okay, 
a bunch of diamond gear. That's a pretty good sign, I'd say. Interesting little kind of library section here. Very interesting. Oh, hello. Chanting table, loot chest. Some okay loot. We got a fella here. Okay, let's hit him with the ice crystal. Boom, and then bam. Oh, there's chests on the inside of these. Okay, okay, hold on. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Get away. Get away. Okay, wow. I progressed through this upper layer of the Shiraz temple, which had a lot of spawners that I took out. The skeletons were fairly chunky, but given my netherite gear, I took them on quite well. There was even a skeleton riding a cow, which was quite the sight, but I was able to clear everything out. What's in this chest? Oh, ancient debris. Hold on. Now I wonder, wow, 16 diamonds from this one chest. I do wonder if we can somehow end up finding one of the eyes in here because that would be a phenomenal thing. A lot of blocks of ores here. That guy's waiting for me beyond the corner. Take you out, take you out. This guy's weird, look at this guy. Oh, he's poisoning me. But, all right, oh my goodness. Break that spawner. Okay, this is bad. Maybe I can try to outrun all these guys. Oh, there's, okay, there's one chest up here. That's got to be a good sword. Uh, blocks of ore. Netherite scales. I mean, hey, that... To be fair, that's pretty good. And is there anything up here? No. Oh, there's more chests here that I missed. Got anything in this one? Oh, those are actually pretty decent enchantments. Wither Waltz. I'll get that. Oh, we got an achievement. And look at that. My gear is minty fresh. I love mel mending. So let's run out from that area. Hello, what's going on here? <gasps> what is that? Oh my god! Holy moly! Holy moly, dude! Take that! Get away! Wait, I need to be in combat mode. Take that! Oh, I got it. What was that? Holy moly! That was like one of the dragons. That was quite interesting. Projectile protection. Oh, we got a netherite helmet here. Wow, a lot of netherite scrap too. That's great. Oh my goodness. Oh, another one of those dragon type things spawned. Alrighty, now it seems like we've looted everything around here. I believe, unless this has loot. No. So... Let us head on out. Hello, what is this? We got a nice little umbrella thing and a nice chest with cookies, aw. Well, thank you, gee. And a water bottle, aw. I'll get hydrated, I appreciate whoever left this behind. Oh yeah, thank you. I'll leave that for the next person and I'll also have a cookie. Thank you very much. And I'll leave, uh, leave the rest for the other people here. I'll also leave them a block of gold. There we go. Maybe one of these guys will take it. You guys, you guys want a cookie? It's right there. Oh, it looks like we got a shipwreck over here. This is the first one I've found since our search. I'm hoping we can find a treasure. Oh my goodness. Let's take this fella out. Draft a trident. Thank, thank you, man. I mean, I appreciate it. Are there any more chests here is the question. Yes, there is. Buried treasure map. Let's go. Okay. That is very good news. Northeast. Alrighty. We're almost there. Alrighty. And I think that's another shipwreck on the way. So maybe we can pick up another map. Okay. Looks like this one does not have a map. But that's okay. Let us continue. Should probably use my 3x2 pickaxe because that'll help out. I'm not sure if the chest is supposed... Oh, well, it's right there. Never mind. Boohoo Coconut. Well, we got a music disc, but uh, not the map it looks like. Heart of the Sea, though, so we'll take that. Okay, well, let's continue along. And here is another shipwreck. Let's check it out. Oh, hello. Sergeant the Soaked is here. Meet us. Say hello. Uh, nothing here. Whoa, what is that? It's like a tiger fish shark or something. I don't know what it's called. That looks cool though. And map. Ooh. Oh, and we're already here. This one's underwater. That shouldn't be too much of a problem though. Okay, let's find this chest. I'm not sure if it's, oh, there it is. Found it. And no eye, unfortunately. But I figure we can keep trying. There's another shipwreck. Ooh, and this is one of the special ones. Oh, with a bunch of swordfish around, may I add. 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. Holy moly. It's an undead army. I've seen a lot of these spawn, but I've never had to fight one. Oh my goodness. They do a lot of damage. That's the first wave defeated, but there are more. Look at them approaching. Look at these guys. Yeah, we're gonna take you all out, fellas. Gotcha. That is creepy. Look at this. Let's go. Who do you guys think you are? You think you're a Chad skeleton? No, you're not. Take these guys out. Ultimate ability. Woo. Got him. Oh, and that's it. We defeated it. After defeating the Undead Army, I continued with my travels and soon came across this. Whoa, look at this. We found a jungle village. That is my first time finding one of these. Very cool. Is this a village? Or is this something else? Looks a bit interesting. Huh. Got some witch supplies in here. I hear a witch. Is this a witch living place? Oh my god, it's a witch. Hi. Oh, what is this? Witch's robe. Witches no longer bother the player. 50% reduced magic damage taken. 25% increased magic damage dealt. Interesting. Eight armor. That's uh that's a pretty good piece of armor if I didn't already have an epic chest plate. That's a very unique item, it seems. Oh, crystal ball. Let's see if we can find the, the witch eye here. Got some plants. I hear more witches. Oh, I hear another witch. Hello, witch. Oh! <gasps> I gasped. I, I, that was a real gasp. I was really excited because it dropped a witch pupil. No way. Woo, I was not expecting this. Oh my goodness. Wait, I think that is it. That's the 12th eye that we needed and we're done. <laughs> yeah, finally we did it. Witch hut. And uh, let's head back to our castle. We need an eye of ender. There we go. Boom, witch eye. So with that, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 witch eyes. And now we can start searching for the stronghold. I should make sure to take any extra eyes that I have because that's what I'm going to need to use to guide me. I'm pretty sure normal eyes of Ender do not work. Yeah, this eye does not want to be used. Oh, whoa. Okay, let's throw this and... Start following it. Oh, well, oh, it's going this way. My search carried on all the way into day 171 when something special happened. Yep, it is right down here. Woo! Okay, it's time to see what we got on our hands here. Okay, let's head down. Oh, and here we go. We have found the stronghold. After 170 days of working towards this, we found it. And not only that, but we're ready to activate it. Now we need to find the portal itself. Interesting. We got another portal here and some treasure. Ooh, okay, looks like we found the main lobby. We got this little lounge area. That's very nice. Ah, here we go. I found it. I don't want to enter just yet, but I do want to activate the portal. So let us do that. <laughs> These took so long to get. Boom, boom, and boom. Woohoo! We have activated the end portal. That is insane. Well, on that note, we are ready to head into the end, but I'm gonna definitely gear up before fighting the Ender Dragon. I think it's more powerful than the regular version, so we're gonna need to be careful. And I wish I had a waystone on me, but it doesn't look like I do, which is uh, definitely not the best news, but it's okay. I think I can find one kind of close by, hopefully. And ooh, I got a silverfish spawning and trying to kill me. And what is this? Is this a village? <laughs> what is going on here? Now, the question is, is there a waystone here? Because that would be amazing. I'm not finding a waystone here, unfortunately. So we're going to have to find another village. And we got signs here, which could lead us to a village. So let us head over this way. Looks like it uh, might have led us to this pillager castle, which is not what we need at the moment. I'm in a warped mesa biome. That's pretty cool. Here's another village. Ooh, why do I... What was that? Oh, no. Hey, don't attack the baby. Back off. Back away from the baby. You okay, buddy? Are you all right? Yeah? Okay. There's no waystone, unfortunately. Oh, hello. 
Hello guys, other friendly little guys. Hi. Not bringing a waystone with me was quite a fatal mistake. I am not going to lie. Oh my god, this is not good. Not at all. Oh, finally. We got a waystone. There's no way this type of village doesn't have a waystone. Ah, waystone. Okay, that was too long. Too long. But let's grab this. And we're gonna have to now fly back. And I traveled about 5,000 blocks. Look at this plant. Look at this thing. Does, oh, yeah, it's harmful. Okay. Oh, I got the achievement. Jennifer dump me. Kill a Philiath. Oh. And the stronghold should be just about down this way. Here, if we dig straight down, we should land right into the portal. There we go. We can place our waystone right here and portal. And let's quickly head home to figure out our inventory and make some potions, hopefully. Boom. Speed charm. Strength charm. Fire resistance. There we go. We have all three charms, which will definitely come in handy. And with that, I mean, I'm pretty ready to go and fight the ender dragon. End portal. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Let us do this. Okay. Let's build on over to the main island. Okay. And so we begin. There's there's so many of these thunder strikes going on. Holy moly. Being able to fly is definitely helpful. Take these out. Now we need to break into these ones. Oh my god, that almost killed me. Here we go, that's that one blown up. There are a lot of these thunder lightning things going on. Oh my god! Holy moly! There we go, that's another one. There's one more crystal here, it looks like. Oh my goodness, this is just difficult because of the lag, okay. Why is this ender dragon on the ground? Holy moly. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow, this is some ender dragon. I guess I have to fight this thing in melee range. Wow. Oh boy. It knocked me towards the wall. Oh no. Okay, that's a totem of undying gone. Put one back on. Okay. There we go, it's in the air. I can shoot at it for a bit. There we go. Ender Dragon. Okay, it's back on the ground. With strength two, I should be able to do a lot more damage. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. We are doing a lot of damage in melee range. Holy moly. I might take it out right now. It's health is, oh, there we go. That was a very strange Ender Dragon fight, to say the least, but we got it. I, wow, I just got 225 levels. That is so many levels. Holy moly. That's insane. Oh, I got a heart container. We got an Ender Dragon treasure bag. We can open that up. We got an End Crystal, Dragon's Breath. And let me see if I can explore the end a bit. Okay, let's head into the end gate here. There we go. Whoa, okay. This end is already looking cool. Okay, so good news, I removed the lightning and my game feels literally 10 times better. Bad news, I have no gear anymore. It, I, I, unfortunately, there was no way to remove the lightning without having the armor removed as well. Uh, so yeah, that means we lost our epic gear, which I'm honestly uh, quite, uh, quite sad with, but at the same time, I'm happy that I'm not lagging like crazy. Uh, now we need to get home ASAP. And I believe we have some decent gear as well, which will help us along the way. I want to come back right after we get some gear at our base so that we can explore the end because I believe the end has even better gear than the nether. Okay, yeah. So unfortunately, <laughs> my spawn point is, uh, is 15,000 blocks away from home, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. There we go, a village. Let us head home. I've put on the best gear I've got, and I think the best strategy is to head into the end and try to get some better pieces of diamond gear that I can then transform into netherite because the end, I believe, has very, very good gear compared to the overworld. Let us head back to our end portal and look at these trees. <laughs> these look crazy. What is this called? Enna gel. Look at that. We're bouncing. Ooh, we got a waystone. Hey there, that's really nice. That makes it a lot easier to travel in the end because as soon as we need to, we can head back home. Oh, 
And here we go. We got an end city. Seems like we also have something over there. Now, I have not fought any shulkers. I do not know how powerful these fellas are. So let's, uh... Be careful here. It seems they're not doing anything too crazy. But let us make our way up. Oh boy, Mimic Cubes. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's holding a totem of undying. Okay, wait, hold on. Can I take these fellas out? Oh no, I can't. Wow, these guys are crazy. I'm gonna try to avoid them if I can because I am not in a state where I can take them on very manageably. Let's see if there's anything at the top. Doesn't seem like there's anything in that one. Let's check this one out. Nothing on the top of this tower either. Ooh, there is a chest. Oh boy. These shulkers are blinding me. Okay. Oh, Callie the old. And you're gone. Let's see what's in the chest. Ooh, netherite armor. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's a legendary item. Look at that. This tool breaks in a five by three area. Mending efficiency four. Item ignores 45% of durability damage. Holy moly, that's an insane shovel. And this chest plate's really good too. Definitely better than mine. Wow. Now let's head to the ship. I'm still in awe from that shovel that we found. This thing looks insane. Okay, there's mimic cubes here. Okay, hold on. Oh, I can make them fall off the edge though. Perfect. What do we got here? Oh, we got an elytra. Oh, look at that. Whoa, you can make some interesting butterfly elytra. Oh, you can make different uh, types of elytras. That's really cool. And then let's see what we got in these chests. Ooh, look at that. Epic helmet. Insane. Epic chest plate. <laughs> Insane. Look at that. Mending protection three, unbreaking three. That is very good. We can combine that with this netherite chest plate even. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Epic netherite leggings. Look at this. It has two sockets on it. Wow. Within this small period of time, I have significantly geared up. But now that we've looted this end city, there's also this huge structure here that I'd like to explore. Oh, I think a blackstone golem might be here. Find the ruin sedatal. Interesting. Got some basic loot here. I hear a lot of sounds. Endermaptera? Ah. That's creepy. That's creepy. Get away from me. Get away from me. Ew. 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 Okay, these things are creepy, man. Why? Why? Oh, here we got an ender golem. I can't shoot at it. Oh boy, I blocked its uh, special ability. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put my strength on, fire resistance, speed, and let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh I blocked its attack. Block. Oh got it wow that was quick what did i get void core interesting Ooh, look at that protection for helmet which is gonna come in handy actually there's a lever here it's another layer oh there's another golem take this fellow out and take you out oh look at that netherite sword two gem sockets a bunch of extra damage that's a very good sword which i would really like to use Oh, man, here's... Oh, my God. Fisk of sand. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm good. Wow. Wow. That is insane. Ooh, look at this. Legendary leggings. It reduces a bunch of types of damage. 6.2 armor toughness. I don't think these are the best legendary leggings you could get, but they're uh, they're pretty good. They are better than my netherite gear in terms of its armor or toughness. What do we have here? Oh boy, that's a boss. Let's quickly head home. Okay, what I can do is try to enchant some of this epic and legendary gear that we got. And sharpness three, that's really good. And through that, we might have a better chance of fighting these more difficult bosses. If I go to the smithing table, we should be able to put both of these on here. Boom. And now this sword should be doing a lot of extra damage, actually. I definitely like to re-enchant this helmet. Let me quickly take that off. Mana regen three, not bad. We can also combine that with our protection four helmet. Bam. For our chest plate, this epic one is better than the netherite one. And what we can do is actually upgrade this diamond chest plate like so. 
That is very powerful. And we need to get more netherite so that we can upgrade our other pieces of gear. Thankfully, I have a lot of scales. There we go, three netherite ingots. We can upgrade our legendary leggings, boom, and our epic helmet. We can also enchant our leggings, protection three, some extra enchantments, which is nice, since that'll make us pretty powerful. Cover me in debris, that is right. I definitely feel a lot safer fighting bosses now. We can add speed onto the chest plate and overheal onto the helmet. Boom. I definitely feel ready to take on a boss right now. All right, let's activate our charms. Eat a golden apple. And uh, let's head down to fight this. Oh, yep, there we go. The Ender Guardian is pulling me in. Let's test the sword. Oh yeah, look at the sword go. That's insane. And we can block with it still. Which I really like. Boom. Blocked. Blocked. Woo! Dropped his down a layer. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am insanely powerful now. That's crazy. That's it. We defeated him. Berserking Gauntlet of Guard of the Titan. You can pull in entities. Look at how many perks it has. It gives you armor too, which is insane. That is very interesting. Let me mine my way out of here. There we go, we are out. I also kind of want to test out this gauntlet. Pull everything into us. Look at how it attacks. Look, I'm pulling everything in. It is very hard to hit things with this. Oh my goodness. I started the, I started a fight with the wrong Enderman, I'll tell you that much. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I thought we were overpowered. We are not overpowered, apparently. That Enderman does an insane amount of damage. Oh no, I just activated another Enderman. No. Let us find some other place in the end because this is way too dangerous. Looks like we have another end city here. Hold on. Let me try to fight these Mimic Cubes. I'm blinded. I have no idea what's happening. This thing does not die. Look at this. I don't think you can kill those Mimic Cubes. They, they literally seem to be invincible. Let me just go to the ship. How about that? And here we have this wandering trader fellow. Who's very, very strange. Oh, he's floating. The Archmage? Whoa, look at this stuff. He has a bunch of special items. Oh, and I'm getting attacked. Is he attacking me? Is this guy attacking me? His trades aren't even that good. This guy's attacking me. Look at this guy. Hey, what, what's going on? Up some music discs and some pretty good boots as well with Feather Falling 5. And look at that. I got, I got a legendary helmet from uh, one of the Shulkers. Oh, and he dropped a mending book. That's good too. Let's take you out. Oh no, not the Mimic Cube. Not the Mimic Cube. These things are literally invincible. Okay, let's get you to fall down here. Okay, we got a chest here. Nothing special, it looks like. Here's a dragon head. I should probably pick this one up. Whoa, hold on. The True Ends Portal. A map leading you to the most powerful being within this realm? Um, what? <laughs> did, did the Wandering Trader drop that? I think it's a bug that it dropped too. I think there's only supposed to be one, so I'll throw one out. This is worrying me a bit. We're gonna follow this map. Oh, and we are moving on the map. Let us see what awaits us. Look at that. The fact that this is being called the most powerful being is a bit, uh scary i would say to the point where i don't think i'm ready to fight this off i think we should return to this later once we're more prepared anyways here's another one of these golem buildings a uh, diamond chest plate which is actually better than my current netherite chest plate i think we should combine the two together what is that look at this thing hi there oh here's another one of these and that is a legendary chest plate oh my goodness these things are nasty Oh, it just dropped epic boots, like, just like that. And you know what? Those boots are better than mine, actually. Oh, and a legendary netherite axe. Let's see what we can do with this epic level shulker. Where did it go? Mythic level mobs have the craziest amount of health. Is this it? 
Dropped leggings, it could be it. Oh, it was it. The enchantments are insane on that. Look at that. Wow, I can definitely make use of that. Projectile protection six, mana regen five, unbreaking four. The armor itself isn't amazing. Got an end ship over this way. And what do we got inside? And a legendary trident. Oh my goodness, look at this. Three empty sockets. Ooh, legendary boots. There we go. Yes, these are amazing. Enchant our new boots. Not bad. We need to upgrade our armor to netherite. So I'm gonna quickly go mining and we can use our five by five pickaxe. Combine this pickaxe with that one, boom. And now let's see what we can do and let us mine down. <laughs> We're just deleting the world at this point. Just delete, delete. This is insane. Like it's just deleting the world in front of my very eyes. <laughs> Look at this, this is crazy. Oh, there we go. Bunch of ancient debris. It also teleports items to you, which is even crazier. There we go, more ancient debris. Thank you. And more. And I'm gonna have to stop there before it breaks. 17 ancient debris before it almost broke. Wow. Upgrade the helmets and upgrade the chest plate. The leggings as well. And now I can combine a lot of things. So these boots with those, boom. This helmet with that helmet, there we go. And these leggings with those, boom. That chest plate with that chest plate, bam. Okay, so on this chest plate, we can add a bunch of gems, boom. We also have a slot on our boots. Plus two step height on those. And on this, we can add 20% total speed. We are doing very, very well. I'll also add mending to all my gear. Mending, mending. There we go, mending on all of my armor. Teleport to our end portal. Look at this, we got a little spirit orb placed down here. Oh, and I actually have enough emeralds and essences to get another heart. Thank you very much. And we think there's an entrance right here, actually. Oh my God, wait, this is a skull. I did not see this before, wait. It's a skull, oh my God. Okay, this is no joke. Okay, what is inside here? Um, candles, distant altar. I'm guessing I have to click this. Do I walk? No, I have to, oh boy, oh boy. Where is it teleporting me? Oh boy. The true ending. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Look. It's Notch. Oh boy. There's nothing else around me. Are you ready? Am I ready? No, actually. Hold on. Oh boy. I'm... <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. Good. Prepare yourself, okay? Oh boy. What is he doing? He's got a big boulder thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! He's swinging me around. Oh, can I block that? Oh, I blocked it. What does he do? Okay. 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 Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. He grabbed me. What is that effect? He grabbed me! Stop! Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Golden apple. Oh my... Okay. I think I got him. Oh my god, of course he has a phase two. Elemental deity?! Look at this thing! Oh! Oh! What? It's summoning a black hole! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god. What is it doing? Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. Dodge. Whatever it's shooting at me, dodge it. I'm getting out of that. Oh no, oh no, ow. Okay, we got- ow! Oh boy. Okay, totems of undying. I think I need to get in melee range. Because this guy does a bunch of damage when I'm trying to shoot at him. Ow! Holy smokes! Ow! Come on, attack, attack, attack! Oh! We got him. Is he gonna blow up or something? Woo! 
You have defeated the corrupted deity. Congratulations, you have defeated the elemental deity. The world bounces once again restored. You can right click one of the dancing Koroks to go back. Oh, hey guys. Did I get anything for that? I don't know if I did. We'll click this guy. Hey. Oh. Teleported us back. I mean, I I think we we actually beat the last boss in the pack. Well, with that, I'm quite confident. I would like to fight the other bosses that we couldn't defeat before and go down to that abyssal trench that we saw earlier. We have had a bunch of progress. It's insane that we have come this far. Okay, first I wanna fight Captain Cornelia because before we were getting demolished by it. Let us teleport to Captain Cornelia. Ah, there it is, okay. And let's try to fight this thing. Oh boy. Oh, that was not a good start. Woo! Woo! It does no damage to me anymore. Oh boy. Okay, maybe I spoke a bit too soon. Hold on. Hold on, I can't swing at it. Hold on. Wow, it's healing. Uh, I Maybe I should have brought Ender Pearls. Okay, this way. Get hits on it again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I shoot at it? I can't do anything. It's healing. Maybe I need to exit combat mode. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you like that, Captain Cornelia? Got it. Nice. Oh, my God. What is this? Oxygen tanks? I feel like we got times eight the loot we're supposed to get. So I'm going to drop a lot of this stuff. And look at that coral lance. It's red. It does 14 attack damage on its own. 30% base accuracy, 25% attack range. Echo of the ship graveyard. Whisper of the abyss. Whoa. Now with Captain Cornelia defeated, I feel confident in going to that abyssal trench. Now the only issue that I might have is the drowning underwater part. So if I could try to get respiration in aqua affinity, that would be very, very good. I could also just make water breathing potions actually, now that I think about it. I can go underwater and try to find some puffer fish. That's a pretty good idea, I think. Boom, depth strider three. Let me try to find some puffer fish. Whoa, I'm really fast. Hey, puffer fish. Where are you? Ooh, war motion, war motion, war motion. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness, we found one. Okay. I was honestly giving up hope. Oh, I think that's a puffer fish. Oh, yes, it is. Ooh. And let's see if uh, looting works on this fella. Oh, two puffer fish. Okay, that's already very good, but I would like to find some more. I need my water breathing real bad. There we go. Eight puffer fish. And with that, we can return. Brew these up. There we go. And I got the potions we need. With that, I am ready to take on the Abyssal Trench. I have it marked down on my Atlas, Abyssal Trench. Let's do it. I finally have come back. And I'm not sure if speed will help us down here, but I will activate it anyways. Oh no. Okay, I feared this might happen. The random effect of water breathing that you get here resets my water breathing potions. To fix that, I can make a charm, but I guess let's see if I even need to make a charm okay let's start breaking these spawners it is very difficult to deal with this this is uh quite crazy i don't know what's going on here to be honest i'm drowning see that's the thing about the water breathing is it activates sometimes and sometimes it doesn't and then i get weakness oh my god i fell down a hole now okay hold on we're leaving I feel the vibrations under the ice oh boy there we go water breathing charm and let's head back look at this how do i deal with this taking on the abyssal trench was honestly an absolute mess there were so many things working against me including lag it being dark and me getting pulled down every few seconds i spent a lot of time here breaking the spawners looting the chests uh, trying to get enough keys to summon the boss and defeat the trench i made it all the way up to the top and it turned out that the top of the building is where you're supposed to start which uh, I really wish I knew in the beginning. Anyways, I was heading back down when this happened. Oh, what is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Golden apples. What is that? Mother of the maze? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is not a good situation. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, I'm swinging at it from afar. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a terrible place to fight these things. Oh no. Oh, they're cornering me. It's poisoning me. Oh my god, I got it. I got it. Okay, I want to try to loot that, but I can't when I'm being dragged to the bottom of the ocean every five seconds. 
Where, where? Oh, there's the items. Oh man, I almost got him. Here we go, here we go. There we are. There we go. What did I get here? Ooh, Abyssal Amethyst. Echo of the Ship Graveyard. I can use this for a lot of things. Ooh, you can even make a full set of armor with this. That's really cool. Let's go see if two keys is enough, which I'm guessing it's not, but two. I think I might need one more key after all. Let's go find another Abyssal Trench. Here we go. Here's another trench. This time I'm going to go from the top to the bottom. And now that I know kind of how this works, there we go. And no key. Let's go down. I do not like guardians, you know? I actually quite strongly hate guardians, I could say. And I'm gonna get you too. Yeah, that's right. There's the sneaky spawner. Oh, yeah, but there's nothing in there, unfortunately. Yes, there we go. We got the key. And we're gonna have to head back to the other trench. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look at this thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing is creepy. Die. 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 It's, it's pushing me away or something. Take it out. Come on. Oh my god. That was a nasty creature. Okay. I have the final key and put it in. Oop. There's a chest there. Oh my goodness. What is going on? The, the key is not going in. I'm so confused. It just uh, didn't work. I failed, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what ended up happening. I decided I would head to another Abyssal Trench to see if I could activate the Battle Tower there, but even after getting three keys again, the boss did not get summoned. I don't know if I was doing something wrong or it was glitched, but unfortunately I had no way to summon the boss, so at least for now we'll just say that I beat the Battle Tower. Anyways, with that done, I decided I would move on, and my next mission was to summon and defeat the Hovering Inferno, whose altar we had found in the first 100 days. Here we are. This is where the Blaze Guardian boss resides. Now we have this little guy here as well, which we should definitely take out. And we can head in here. Let's uh, activate our fire resistance and let's throw in our... Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> the nether star worked. Oh my god. Oh my god. A little guy spawned one of these guys here. Hold on. This is bad. This is very bad. Where's this little guy? Okay, I, I don't know. I'm going to just try to take on the Hubbering Inferno. Oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy, wait, that, that's not good. Wait, we're doing a lot of damage to it. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I can't even kill this thing because I don't know where the little guy is. I can take out the hovering inferno though. Oh, there, there he is. There's the little guy. Come here, little guy. Got him. Now we take out the rest of this inferno. Wow, I'm, I'm insanely powerful. Holy moly. We have, we have had a huge increase in our power. Run? You can't kill the Inferno just about- Oh my god, it respawned. Oh boy, come here, Hovering Inferno. Oh, I can't hit it. I can't hit it. What's going on? Oh, I think I- Oh! I have to jump over that. It has a bunch of- Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I have to d dodge all of these. Oh my god. Okay, up we go. Place a block here. Can it hit me? It can't. Oh! Come on. Woo! fall into ashes survive the inferno's last spell and claim your reward what is my reward i hope my reward whatever it is doesn't drop into the lava please oh i think i saved it oh oh what is that windswept firestorm of the first archer turns spectral arrows into a powerful lightning attack oh look at this windswept trailblazer of the first archer oh my god how long can i charge this for oh look at this whoa that's cool boom oh my god that's sick Oh, wow, I got 84 levels from that. That's that's insane. Now, let's search for some more bosses. Okay, now, I feel bad, but there's a pile of sheep here, and I want to test this crossbow on him, okay? Okay. Yeah, that just one-shot all, all three sheep that were here. That is pretty powerful. The Redhorn Guild, a refuge and training grounds. How do I get into this place? Right here, it looks like. Hello, folks. Redhorn Guild. Journal. Day 14. Last week I arrived at the Wanderous Redhorn Guild. I was running from a pillager patrol and the adventurers here took me in as one of their own. They may be hard on me and each other, but now they're family. Um, oh, hello. Hey there. Hey guys, Redhorn Guild. Very cool. I'm a big fan. Look at their logo. That's nice. Let's see what's at the top here. Very interesting. I don't want to disturb them by looting their chests, so 
I'll leave you guys alone, okay? It doesn't look like they have any quests for me or anything. So I'll just head on out. I want to find this ocean monument. And I can actually just turn on my charm of water breathing, which will make finding a uh, temple a lot easier. Hello, Sentinel Knight. Would you like to fight? Oh, poor guy. I'm so overpowered. This is insane. Look at this. Wow, she got destroyed. I'm not gonna lie to you. Is there anything in here? Because this is just like an inconspicuous, perfect box in the middle of the ocean. Oh, what's going on here? Look at this. We got copper golems. Oh, I just got a copper golem. Head back out. Oh my god, we found one. We found an ocean monument. Holy moly, it took so long. Nice, nice, nice. Now these fellas are very powerful especially the fact that we have epic fight mod it makes it very difficult to fight these guys what is over here oh hello uh oh uh oh that's the boss oh look at this thing this thing looks freaky oh my goodness i got it this place is not not looking like it's friendly at all i'll tell you that much wow this is very different from the typical ocean monument look at this place no i don't like you fellas it doesn't seem to be a lot here oh and there's another elder let's take it out this scary thing we got it oh i got oh my god oh my god how am i not dead wow holy moly they got me to one heart whoa wow okay <laughs> Good thing I'm okay. Elder Guardian bag. Let's open this up. I'm um, not seeing anything too special. Oh, and here we got another one. And gotcha. Wow, there are a lot of these guys. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. We got a chest here. A bunch of prismarine shells, crystals, nautilus shells. I'll get them. Okay, I feel like that is it for this place. So we should head out. And oh, I can actually break out. There we go. And we're out of there. So we've defeated this sea monument. And we got a wandering trader here. Hello. Nothing good. Now, there are a few more bosses that I can defeat. One of them is Father Gasco Gascoin. I don't know how to say that, but I want to find him. And I know for a fact that he spawns randomly in the overworld. Me finding him is basically entirely up to luck, but I'd still like to try to do it. Just hold on. I'm just admiring my gear for a second. Just look at how overpowered that looks. Isn't that a beautiful color? Wow. Let me talk to the guild master here and let's see if he has any new quests because I defeated the ender dragon. Hello? I think there's no need to look for the eyes anymore. Correct. So you have defeated the dragon. I suppose that would make you the new ruler of the realm. Congratulations, brave conqueror. You have done everything you could. Now, if you would excuse me, dot, dot, dot. I, I'm sorry, I doubted you. You are truly one of a kind. End of dialogue. Okay, that's it. We officially have gotten the seal of approval. Hey, pal. Hey. Swimming with me, look at this. Hello, Orca. Look at it, it's swimming with me. I made a new friend. I unfortunately did not have luck with finding this rare boss named Father Gascoin, but uh, that's okay because we beat the mod pack, everybody. I mean, we did it. We defeated the final boss, we got insane gear, and we have our nice little castle that we live in. It's only right to end this off by heading back to our castle and saying hello to Noopy. Hello, Noopy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, sleeping. A nice deep rest.